And welcome back to our coverage of the 2019 U.S. Masters and U.S. Go Congress on a, a rainy Thursday. Yeah, uh, it's looking pretty dark out there. <laughs> not as bad. Five o'clock this morning was thundering and lightning. Uh, we're here in uh, Madison, Wisconsin. It's been gorgeous weather all week, so we really can't complain. Right, of course. So, then, of course. Uh, I think it's this been is a fantastic. Clear up. Mm -hmm. And we're playing a board game inside, so we actually don't care <laughs> what's going on outside. Did you have a good day off? Uh, yeah, sure. I, I was uh, at a Die Hard, actually, uh, on a day off. Of course you were. Yeah, yeah. You How'd saw you do? The, uh, so I won all four games. So I, won the, I won a Die Hard this year. So uh, pretty happy to, do, uh, to uh, see myself do well. But of course, you know, it was a, it was a nice day, you know. Uh, played against a lot of strong players. Mm -hmm. uh, every, every year we traditionally always have this Die Hard tournament. Uh, so that you know the people who want to you know get more games in can still sign up for that. And of course, the tournament director Andy Olson did a pretty great job. Uh, I think we had overall like 96 participants. He said so. more than last year. Yeah, yeah. I, I think he says he's gonna get to like 100 That's hopefully next goal. year. That's his goal. Triple digits. So um, yeah, there were good games. Of course, uh, there were four games a day, so uh, it was pretty nerve wracking when we. Uh, that's a that's a got, lot of games in one yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, The time controls are a little bit different. I don't, they're uh, what are they? 60 yeah, minutes. It was uh, 30 minutes per side. 30 minutes per side. With wow. five 30 second Bioyomi periods. That's a pretty speedy game. And you know the thing is, the ink clocks we have, they uh -huh. read the seconds out. Yes, right? they do. So, yes, they so do. it's really nerve wracking, especially when you get down to the last 10 seconds and they read out like each Ten. second of it. And then, so, so that, that's when it gets really, really exciting. I had one good game against uh, Alan Huang, who's a seven dollar yeah, yesterday. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah I, I was really enjoying it out there as well. I, I, think, I think even though, you know, it could be stressful, that's part of the fun and mystery of it. You know, you just uh, try to hold yourself together and, and read out the correct sequence, and that, that can be really, really enjoyable. Mm -hmm. It's a nice tournament, and yeah. uh, it's been going for a number of years now. So. Definitely. All right, let's uh, bring folks up to where we are on the Masters. Of course, this is day five, round uh, four, actually. Uh, uh, round, have, five. Round, round five. five yeah. Round five, round uh, five. That's right, because we have six and seven tomorrow. Sure. So it's, uh, we've changed it. Normally, we have nine rounds, so it's a little mm -hmm. different and confusing. Yeah, I mean, we don't mind it. It is less nope. good for us. <laughs> so. Yep. So we've got... Uh, so we actually have two 4-0 winners, but they are not facing each other today. You want to tell folks about that? That's right. So we, uh, we are actually coming to a very interesting second half here. Mm -hmm. and, and of course, I was talking to Josh Lee, the tournament director, a pretty strong player himself. You know, we're, we're actually following on this race pretty uh, keenly. Uh, so as of now, we have, I think, six players who have emerged out of the pack. And uh, there are two 4-0 winners. Uh, that is, of course, New Aiko, the, the you know, two-time professional pro. from Japan. And our very own Eric Lui, one done pro, who's uh, he, he's off to a flyer just for his half and won all four of his games, and uh, just amazing. Uh, of, of course, he's still a bit behind in terms of SOS, but of course, you know we, we gotta wait until what uh, you know the last three rounds to really find out who's going to win. Which is great. Thing. That's a great competition. Yeah, currently it's definitely still pretty wide open. You know, uh, so Go Yong Fei, Mark Lee. Uh, John Fan Jen and uh, I think Aaron, Aaron Yeh. That's right, Aaron so they, yeah. they yeah, all, all have three, three wins. Yeah. So, but yeah, by the way, we didn't we, we didn't talk about uh, John Fan a lot. I was I was yeah. watching him play against uh, Ryan. You know, they were playing some games in the late night. Uh, John John Fan himself actually, yeah, he's been doing quite well. And you know, his AJ rating is eight and a half. We know wow. we know that Mark Lee is rated you know nine point eight. I think right Something, now. Almost ten. Yeah. Yeah. At some point, he was like ten point six. But yeah, John Fan is still one of the contenders to to be. To be, uh, you know, washed upon. I forget so. who did he lose to earlier this week. Uh, good question. I, I think he lost to. I Let's could be wrong. He, he lost to Ico, maybe. Yeah. Uh, we, we, we can check on that. Yeah, Todd, can you check on that? Sure. Um, no, can't. Never mind. We, 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 Never we, can, mind. we can do it Never later. Mind. You can look. actually sure. you know what? You can check on that because we have all of our cross tabs <laughs> yeah, right. at US Go right there at the top, and you can check mm -hmm. on that right now. Uh, next time, we'll make sure we put the computer here so we can yeah, yeah, check yeah. on it ourselves. In any case, um, yeah, I'm just curious about who he lost to because he, mm -hmm. he has been very, very strong. He's, he's very good. Uh, of course, like Aaron also only dropped one game. That's right. Of course, that was against Ico. Uh, Mark, you know, well, he, we covered mm -hmm. that one. Uh, but Yong Fei only lost to Eric. So yeah, it, it is definitely very wide open and, and there's not a lot between these guys. And uh, I, as of now, I think uh, you know, all of these six players have a really good chance of winning the tournament still. Mm -hmm. But of course, for the other people left in the field, if you, you know, won you know, two games already, that, that's still... Hmm? That was gonna be my guess. <laughs> Excuse me. Hmm? He lost to Aiko. Oh, okay. He lost to Aiko. Sure, that, sure. That was my guess. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I think I think and so too. Two. Yeah. yeah. Um, Thank you. Thanks. So yeah. Anyway, um, 
I, I think it's a pretty tough round and uh, a pretty tough tournament. So if you can get you know even two wins, I, I'd be pretty delighted if that happened to me certainly. So you know this is really a top top level tournament. There's a there's a series, and I've I've recorded many many tournaments and and uh, U.S. Open, uh, but the Masters. The only, I would say the only games that I've seen that's, I mean, just in the U.S. now we're talking, right. uh, are the professional qualifiers. Mm -hmm. Those games, you know, so much is riding on those games. Yeah, and, yeah. The, you know, when the, the players, you know, it's a much smaller field, obviously, for the professional qualifying. But, you know, so those are the only ones that I've seen where they're, you know, they're even more serious. The games are even more hard fought. Uh, mm -hmm. These masters are really interesting games. Yeah, we we're well. Of course, we're gonna have two rounds tomorrow. Remember, uh, we will have it's gonna be a round marathon. six at nine o'clock at the same time. Of course, uh, we had a bit delayed this this morning, but of course, nine o'clock uh, central time for round six and seven p.m. for round seven. So it's gonna be really really exciting when we get down to the last two because I I mean I, there are still a lot of good matchups left. You know, in this field, like Ico could play Mark, and uh, you know. I, I think, yeah, well, the most Zhongfan could the enter. The most interesting thing would be for, um, uh, you know, Mark wins and Eichel loses today. Right? right, because if Mark wins, then he's 4-1, right? And then we, we're going to have a lot of... Of course, uh, they've got, you know, yeah. they're ahead day, right? So that's, I'm just sort of trying to think of, play out some possible uh -huh. scenarios. Sure. Um, I have to say, in all fairness, though, uh -huh. you know, Aiko is not only undefeated, but I believe, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think she, I think all the games have been resignations. I don't think any of her games have gone to counting. Uh, exactly, and I think she's been playing very solidly. And, mm -hmm. and I, so. We uh, saw the game the other day. Mm -hmm. The other day, I mean, it was, it was pretty much over, you know, halfway yeah. through. Just there was no real fighting. It was, a, I mean, relatively, especially after the first few games that we'd broadcast, we were fierce and fighting right. and edge of the seat and one and a half points here. Uh -huh. And, you know, and then this game was, uh, you know, the, the last one that, that we broadcast on mm -hmm. Tuesday, I, I'd go as far as to say it was, it was fairly anticlimactic. I mean, you know, she just handled her business in right. a fairly- Right, it was very calm, solid demolition. And I believe that's her style. Uh, uh, I, I think so, but of course, like in the first half, uh, I, I feel like she has won her games pretty comfortably. We'll see if that's the case in this bottom half. Uh, sometimes, you know, uh, when you are feeling good about a game, actually, you don't need to fight. But, right. but maybe, you know, uh, one of these players, like of course, Mark is a pretty, you know, he's a pretty aggressive player. So maybe that, that's going to bring the, uh, you know, the fighting style out of Ico as well. Absolutely. Well, we we'll see. We'll have commentary. Uh, we can do a little setup right now before we mm -hmm. wrap. Uh, our old friend, Mr. Yang. Oh my uh, God! Will be any oh, of you Go players so out there will know Mr. Yang, yeah. and uh, it's going to be a real treat to hang out with Mr. Yang. He's, I think so. Well, his his commentary and his analysis are just wonderful, and then he's just a funny guy. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the thing is though, like when, after you watch his commentary, you just start wondering, like. Yeah, like, why is this game so easy? Why am I not better at this? I, <laughs> so, uh, I studied with him yeah. years ago. Uh -huh. uh, and and uh, really good teacher. Really good teacher. Amazing and, teacher. And I remember one day he, uh, you know, we were doing it remotely. You do it online. Right. And uh, he said to me for, you know, the umpteenth time, you know, why did you do this? I've told you before not to do this. And I said, the fault is not with you, Mr. Yang. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's clearly a bad student on this part. So. <laughs> but I still yeah. remember many of his lessons. Yeah, he's written many books as well. Many books. Uh, he's, he's, I think he's created many uh, to make problems. Mm -hmm. uh, every year, oh, he, of course, he also has got a Cotton Open. I hope we're doing that, by the way, this well, year. You know, actually, I'm glad you, uh, you mentioned that. Uh -huh. I literally was just texted yesterday by the TD uh, they, they, they normally, as you know, have right. that at the uh, Korean Cultural Center, which is a great venue. That's not available yeah. this year. And so it took them a little while to line up a new venue. But right. as of yesterday, in fact, as soon as we get done here, I'm going to go and put this story up. Uh, it'll be the final weekend in October. I want to say 26th, 27th, or 25th, 26th, something like that. Whatever the last weekend in October is. So I've already got them. Mark your calendars. Mark your calendars. Um, if you can't make it to the Go Congress, the Coats, uh, yeah. and if you're out on the West Coast, uh, the, the Coats, and uh, people come from all over the West Coast. It's a right. wonderful tournament. Um, uh, top level competition uh, at mm -hmm. all levels. Mm -hmm. um, and then they have some real nice uh, little uh, things that you don't see at any other tournaments. For one thing, uh, they bring around um, 
uh, food trucks for the lunch. Oh, yeah. But even better than that is the food trucks, the lunch is free. Yeah. Um, and then uh, you pay a registration fee, which of course isn't that much. But when you come back on the second day, you play all five rounds, you get your registration fee back. See, speaking of the food trucks, that's the dilemma because I, I get super dizzy if I eat too much before the second round. But at the same time, the food is really good. So Taco trucks, <laughs> Kogi Taco. Exactly. So, you, people who are in LA, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's yeah, really, yeah. really good. So Just, yeah, fantastic tournament. You know, really, uh, yeah, I hope we can do some broadcasting there if well, that's possible. That's our plan. We're gonna right? we want to do that. You want to do that? Yeah, yeah. So, I'm on the West Coast, so yeah, I'm down. I'm down. All right, we're gonna make that happen. All right, so we'll be back uh, shortly with uh, start our game commentary with Yi Lung Yang, and we will talk to you then. And we are really back this time with sound, even which apparently makes a difference. So um, yes, we have uh, round five U.S. Masters, uh, another key key round uh, already well underway and well into the middle games. So we're going to jump right into it. Our host, uh, our uh, commentator today, of course, Yi Lung Yang, uh, Seven Don Professional. Good to have you here as always. I yes. get to see Yi Lung uh, twice a year, once here at the U.S. Go Congress and then at the Kotsin, which we were just discussing, will be coming up at the end of October. So we're looking forward to that as well on your home turf in Los Angeles. Yes, welcome to Yeah, Los easy Angeles. commute for you. Yes. All right. So uh, before we um, roll it back and, and, and see how we got to where we are, who's, who's got the better position at the moment in the game? You mean in this moment? Yes. Uh, I, I think the black is a little bit better because mm -hmm. I'm not counting, uh, just uh, just judge the, all the previous moves mm -hmm. uh, who has a better position, more efficient. Mm -hmm. I think black uh, should be better. That's Mark Lee, of course. Yeah, um, and it's, a, it's a kind of a tough, uh, tough. He's he is a very strong. Oh, he's almost the strongest uh, one of the strongest uh, go player in the United States. Yeah, well, there was a period where he just couldn't seem to lose. Well, sometimes, you know, bad luck, some such a situation sure. just stuck, you know, it's possible. Right. Okay. Uh, he's really good, yes. All right, well, let's, uh, let's go ahead and see how we, uh, how we got here, if we can roll it back. Of course, I wish uh, Eric Reed may win this game. Of course. Because uh, he's a, a wing of a student of mine. Right. So a long time ago, so mm -hmm. I lose him. All right. <laughs> Uh, so, of course, starts that upper. Okay, it's very common. This is like a classic 3 4. Yeah. Uh, classic opening, white, a very common uh, two star opening. It's very flexible. Mm -hmm. It may be uh, going to be more your type of opening or mm -hmm. territory also possible. So we have these uh, three, four points. These are more territorially yeah. influenced like and the high, the high points are more yes. influenced. Yes. Okay. Uh, locally, I think the three, four points the best uh, in the corner to, mm -hmm. to hold the corner because mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's very easy to get real benefit. But the four, four point, of course, is a good position for the outside, mm -hmm. but there's defects, three, three. Right. So that's why the Alpha go always starving three, three early. Mm -hmm. That's a surprise idea. Scoop body. out the corner. Yeah. So black takes the, the large enclosure, yeah, um, which this is, is uh, normal. Right. But I try to be a little bit more aggressive. At, at least I, if this is, will be real territory, mm -hmm. two more points. Mm -hmm. So maybe decide but, the game. But this, this is definitely corner is pretty yeah. much finished. This is a yeah, little bit more some, agile. Uh, yeah, we can, that depends. If some white stone nearby, mm. it's not real. Right. But if somehow black, you know, put stone around, maybe this will become real, mm -hmm. so more efficient. A little faster. Now white, white has uh, maybe a couple choices here. Uh, in this case, there's not much choice. Mm -hmm. So let's compare the situation around sure. the side. You know, after the corner occupy enclosed, so there are only four open side left. So we have to see the different situation of each side. For example, this is really open. Mm -hmm. 12 space, right? That's only nine. Mm -hmm. That's 11. Here so, is also 11. So what you're referring to is the number of lines. Yeah, between, between the, the stones, there, no sure. matter what, black or white. Right, so this is the widest. Yeah, this is this the widest. Is also, second. this is the tallest mm -hmm. position. So we call this is the 11 space between fourth line, fourth line. Mm -hmm. This is a 12 space between fourth line and the sixth line. Mm -hmm. So two line higher than this. 
But this is definitely the most uh, important area. So this, or, or in AI um, terms, is sort of the hottest area. Yeah, no matter what, why it has to choose the next move in this area. Maybe approach corner normally, normally unusual. Mm -hmm. Sure. The white, yeah, like this, standard, mm -hmm. right? Normal, unusual, unusual. Or even somebody say, okay, I don't want you to squeeze me to develop the side, just put the stone in the middle, or something like this, like that, also possible. Mm -hmm. But it seems a little too passive. Mm -hmm. So usually, why does to approach the corner? In a, in a uh, Q level uh, mm -hmm. game, uh, when people can't figure out what to do, they will often play something in the middle here yeah, that's because, okay. because you can get your two space extension yes, on either side. Yes, it has an easy follow up from right. this, so it settle quickly. Right, but it's not quite as sharp. So this I is maybe the sharpest, one of these two. I mean, locally, this is the best. Mm -hmm. Because to play against Blood's position, because this move leaves the corner open. That so move doesn't really here, come. Yeah, there. you can slide in, leave, make or a black uncomfortable. Yeah. This move, you cannot do this anymore. No, because black will right, split. Right. So this move actually doesn't leave the corner open, but I think this is more reasonable in this opening. Why? Because the black is a high, high position. Right. Right. So this has a better relationship. Yeah, yeah. If, if the position like this, this is not right. Uh -huh. So it should be territory. Gotcha. So this is, Territory type opening. This is more your type of opening. So possible. this this is more consistent with that with the high with the high right. stones. So, yes, so that's correct. Yes, that's more reasonable. Now black has some options after this. Yes. Um, black has options, so it's an important decision here. If black want to make a territory, so locally it should be here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or if black wants to develop the outside, she'll be here, mm -hmm. sometimes dead. Mm -hmm. these, are, we, these are called pincers. This is pincers. This is the good, this pincer is good for developing. Mm -hmm. That pincer is good for making turret. Mm -hmm. So if in this situation, if black choose two pincers, I think this is more reasonable. Mm -hmm. Okay. So maybe sure. uh, somebody always ask me, why you touch a weaker stone here? Right. Yeah, I always say, if possible, don't touch a weaker stone. Because it makes it stronger. Yeah, but uh, if you can get enough money, you got enough benefit, mm -hmm. you can touch a weaker okay stone. Touch if weak sometimes stone. there's no choice, you must touch it or do something, mm -hmm. it's okay. Mm -hmm. So just if possible, don't touch a weaker stone. Gotcha. You know, somebody like this, no, this is not right. This also touches a weaker stone, right? So we be like that. Yeah, but this and happens in some profession corners. again too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, for example, this somebody approached the corner here. I saw some professional does this. Really? Yeah. It looks uh, Seems so too, heavy. too passive. Okay. Now let's change. When black play here first, however, touch a weaker stone anyway, right? Mm. So why is it getting stronger? The black move out. Then why they got three space extension? Okay. Yeah, people have three space. The white position is similar like this, right? Similar. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is a little bit solid, stronger than, this is a little bit strong, but the black got more liberties, more points. Mm -hmm. So this is black. This is actual territory. Yeah, now. so this is real territory. So I don't like this for black, mm -hmm. but this black is okay. Okay. And just a small question here okay. in this uh, in this particular just okay. like with, the, with the attach and Hane, mm -hmm. and then, uh, sometimes you'll see people do this, maybe try to be a little faster. There's, yes, a, there's a problem yes. with this though, right? Uh, it's, it's, the, the good news, after white uh, hanging connection here, mm -hmm. black probably still need to move out. Now white can extend further. A little bit farther. Yeah, yeah further. It's a three space in could be here. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, there's bad news for white because this, this one has a liberty issue. Mm -hmm. So usually I would say, if there's any single stone, you lose one liberty, you already have a liberty problem. Uh -huh. Because when you are liberty short, this becomes sente. And show sh why it's sente. Okay. Because if white is in, see? Right. This single so has only two liberties, so down. white cannot separate anymore. Mm -hmm. So if you, if, if you like a solid, this is good. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if you like to be faster, this is good. Okay. So I think uh, in this the case, solid. no, it depends. In this case, why does still have to look this area? Mm. So this one, I would say, is good for uh, making territory. Mm -hmm. That one, solid, maybe support, you know, the two previous moves to work together. So in this case, white may do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, work two together. Sure. Okay. 
So let's see, probably they do this just like that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, black uh, touch, black decide to make a territory. The white answer here, black, and this is really to get more liberty connection. Now, white just, just another fine point, can, can white tanuki or is this must, mm -hmm. must play? Because, no, because no, this is not must. I think a tanuki is very like. I only ask because with all the AIs these days, the AI, you know, there's a real focus on mm -hmm. playing away as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's difficult for us to know, because the AIs tend to play away sooner than we're comfortable with. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, this, I think a tenok is more reasonable. Mm -hmm. There's a reason. Mm -hmm. Because the black corner looks pretty strong. Sure. So any strong, touch a strong group already, or near strong group, mm -hmm. it's not important. Gotcha. Because even if you help the weakest, you mm -hmm. cannot start counter, right. counter attack on opponent's strong group. Right. So assuming you play here, but I play there, you cannot attack this, right? right? So I think a white has a choice. Let's see, yeah. Tendo key. This is what I was just thinking. Okay. Big move, yeah? Yeah, big move. Uh, let's see, okay, white does Tendo key. Black doesn't, black, black doesn't want to cut, right? Black has to cut. Otherwise, you're waiting. You know, eventually, you have to cut. Punish, right? punish. Punish, yes. Okay, white say, okay, I cannot capture this one. So why I say, can white save both? No. No. Okay. Which one is more valuable? The lower one. In this case, which one is more important? No. This is a little bit more valuable than that. A little bit more. Right? So why I say, I'm going to hop the more valuable right. stone. So but I say, I have to hop the cutting stone, which is weak. This is better, right? That's the too slow too because slow. Okay, I got more force. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's over uh, Yeah. So. Well, I say I can just defend here because white will not be able to escape. Sure. So now what does white need? Maybe a little base. little base there. Yeah, something yeah. like that. This is this is playable, yeah. Yeah, not after, yeah, it's playable. Uh, seems like black got great position here, but actually it's not. Do you know why? Well, for one thing, it's only one stone. <laughs> Yeah, two, it's too high. It's too high. Yeah, when you have position on the sixth line, it's very difficult to, to make a real territory, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. For example, if we have four slide stone, okay, you say I might make a territory, mm -hmm. right? When you have a six line position, how to make a territory? It's difficult. Fifth line, nah, it's too open, right? A fourth line, okay, there's a bigger gap left. Because of the area. Yeah, because it's a bit separate mm -hmm. easily. So I don't know. Well, I think uh, after black cuts the, cuts the single stone, it's not that efficient. Mm -hmm. So why the make constitute tenoki? And then I got this. Of course, black isn't easy to develop here. Black probably where, you know, put pressure this group. Mm -hmm. Actually, this group is under bigger pressure, mm. right? So if white just jump, then black also keep a jump. This move looks slow, but still keep a pressure white. Mm and also help the single stone, otherwise the white will invade him. Uh, this move also support the corner, right? So it turn out we probably will be like this. Hmm. It's very stable, settled. So I think it's another game, because mm -hmm. I don't see how easy black can use those two stones. I feel like for white, this is, I mean, mm. like white needs to play a little faster here. Yeah, this the, the the game feels very solid. Yeah, sorry. But a little slow. Yeah, a little slow, but it's okay because it's a different style. Different style. You know, it's a personality. Mm -hmm. Somebody just quiet, mm -hmm. just patient. Mm -hmm. Somebody, you know, right? Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, so why they just choose the solid connection? Of course, blind is suited to move out. Right, and this is a very standard. Somebody oh, like everybody also knows. asked a dark question. Say, this is a strong group. Why escape? Why move out? Well, strong group, it's not very strong. If this is very strong like this, of course, nobody will move out. <laughs> right. But this group we call strong, but not strong enough. It is livable, mm -hmm. but it's still squeezable. So, so for example, if, white, if black, okay, black, black example, plays away. Say, okay, I got this. Right. But the white may still squeeze Detach, this black, right. right? So black need to spend many slow move inside like this. It's, a, oh, it's a pretty crawling painful. on the second line. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty painful, you know. Uh, and the corner, the corner is, is maybe, no maybe two, two points more. Uh, it's more than, it's around 10 points, but it's still, still small now. But I mean, but this isn't picked up any more yes. uh, uh, territory. Yes. He did get the move over here. No, the key point is that after white getting stronger like this, this move isn't that meaningful. 
what are you doing? You want to attack a white? Right. If you can attack a white, this is great, right? If you couldn't attack a white, you rather just play here. So this is a difficult you know, decision for Vlad made. So any this group strong enough for two eyes, but not strong enough in the early opening mm. because it was squeezable. Mm -hmm. So move out is necessary. It's not just point because move out, keep a pressure on white. Mm -hmm. Also destroy the body, mm. destroy this area. Okay, next move, of course, white. In this case, this is too good, right? If white takes three star opening, this is great because this is called attack white, not like other ones. No base. Yeah, no base. So white needs position. Uh, we couldn't call white needs two eyes. That's not right. So white needs position. At least uh, the, the opponent cannot easy to punish you. Mm. So here's the decision between this one or that one. Yeah, I just want to figure out lower high. Locally, this is more reasonable mm -hmm. because the third line move is a more, it's a base type of move. Right. Okay. But I consider there's still a bigger position, you know, bigger potential from the, the that side. So why to say I want to stay high? So it's interesting, Mr. Yang, mm -hmm. that you know, uh, in in Go, unlike in some uh, other games, notably chess, once your stones are down, mm -hmm. you cannot remove. You cannot remove or move them. Yes. And so you know, Eric has played this high, this, these high stones, yes. and all of his other moves have to have a relationship mm -hmm. to them, right? Yes. So he can't, he might, if he changes his mind, plays here, mm -hmm. now this is not working with these. Mm -hmm. so he's kind of stuck with this, right? Mm -hmm. Right, this is not inconsistent. This is a proper move locally, but it's a two territory. Mm. But the white have to consider how to be more developed. Sure. Okay, so in early opening, I think the most important thing is that we have to always try to make your previous move to be more efficient. But I saw there are a lot of good players, they're just counting. Right. In the early opening, they spend time. <laughs> that, 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 that's not, not necessary. Right. Nobody can really count. How big this is, we don't know. Okay. Maybe I find good knows, right? Uh, if I go may know, maybe, but I'm maybe, human. Maybe. No, nobody knows how, right. how many points does white have here. I think it's a really good, I think, yeah, but I think counting is a problem for amateurs all through the game, but particularly mm. in the open when it is so difficult. Right. There's no, way to, no, no need to count. Right. Just have to figure out how great, how useful the previous move. Are. Right, how to make the stones work together. That's right, that's right. So when white has a high position, this is continue to stay forceful. Mm -hmm. Also, this move, uh, there's bad news for white. This is maybe open. But the good news, the white has better follow-up move. Mm -hmm. If white extends on the third line, it's done. Right. But no good follow-up move. Because if you continue to play here, it looks uh, flat. It's very flat. So if you can remove, yeah, just like you said, go game, you cannot remove. So you have to think about, right? That's important decision for each move. Think about what is your next move. Yeah, well, you have, you have to prepare the good next move. Also, don't leave easy move for your opponent. Mm. Okay. So when white play here, there's good news for white here, but the bad news for white, which is open. So that's why this is almost the only move. Urging. Even though here is the most open area, right? But mm -hmm. that, that's urging. Because that leaves white position open and comfortable. And plus, when this one here, the, the, this area become more developable for black. It's a high position for, the, for that side. So this is interesting because this is obviously a really big move. Yes. But why to choose that? Mm. Mm. Seems like not that reasonable because you can see the all white move play on the fourth They're side. High. Suddenly this is a territory type of move. Except uh, except I mean and people can see this shape is similar to the to the shape that we've shown here mm -hmm, here mm -hmm, here mm -hmm, right? similar. But it's really it's quite it's different. Still, it's a still open. Because so for, this is wide open, yeah, because yeah, black yeah. has invasion yeah. points here, so I like, here. I like this two. I don't like that two. Because this two almost finished. There's no Difficult. easy there, there's, invasion there's, for there's white. There's some stuff, but some this trouble. this area, black can still do many things, right, to reduce. So the corner can even still, do the attachment, okay. I think, too. So right? here is the point. When white has spent so many moves on the fourth line, they so suddenly switch to be territory. I think Maybe it's worried about black expanding here, trying to prevent the black expansion. I think it's a little jealous because they try to, of course, this is big. Trying to check. Top of the corner, yeah, they take away the last potential. Mm -hmm. 
well, you're right that, that there's more your type of opening. You have to make it bigger as possible. Let's see if we will play something. If we will play something like that. So then why is that play here? I like the framework for yeah, why, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show me like that. Let me check something. Hey, uh, Stephen, um, can you check and see? I'm curious about whether Eric and Mark have played together and what their uh, results are. Okay. <laughs> I'm just wondering about, um, I, th I feel like they have a bit of a similar style, a very mm -hmm. patient, mm -hmm. solid style. Yeah. Uh, and I think feel like they're both willing to, you know, play a long game mm -hmm. um, and not, not try and some, some, sometimes and actually, Mark, early in, early in his career here in the country, he used to try and you know, wrap it up like get by move 50. You know, mm -hmm. you'd have, he would have a lead. So, yeah, so you're not, you're not crazy about this, are you? Uh, you, you don't really like the feeling of this. It's very common uh, recently uh, in professional high-level you know, game. We can see that often. Mm. Uh, but in my opinion, it seems like so passive. Yeah. Where would you prefer? In this case, uh, of course, I would you take like a, this, yeah, okay. take See, so you can tell my student, Mr. Yang, because I want to play there, too. <laughs> okay, afterwards. It's yes. a big move, right? Um, no, can consistently to yeah, use yeah. our side, you know. Okay, right, territory. So, so, of course, black splits. Mm, Seems odd. That's another good point. This is really good. Oh, I like that move. Almost, almost. Because this move, you know, mm. make that position really good, right? Mm -hmm. Really develop. Besides, it puts a lot of pressure on white. Yeah, because now... Also, when black control in this area, white isn't easy to develop a moyo. Right. That's a nice move. Yes. Next move is so good. And no, I, white, so if what, white how, how does white fix? Just if like white this. pushes, but I say, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think this is urgent. Okay. Okay, so Steven says Markley, they played, they, oh, they've only played the once? Okay, so they played once and Markley won. That was back in 2016 in the New Jersey Open. I see, okay, three years ago. Yeah, yeah. I, I like that, I like that move. So so this one. This is a move, uh, just a scary just, 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 worry just, about why it has a moyo, bigger moyo. Well, and also because this. Because this, when, when White does this, there's no bigger moyo potential. Because it's low. Mm. Okay, so let's see black play here. Then suddenly why is it play here? This is not that reasonable. Yeah, you wouldn't you wouldn't Maybe why they were like this. Right. But it's get a flag. The balance. It's, it's, it's not more your type. Sure, yeah, sure. But I just play here. And that, yeah, and so yeah. and that, and now now the game, yeah. Yeah, but like pretty, you know, control the center. So right. this is just a piece of bigger territory. It's right. not small, but I, there's no bigger moyo. Okay, so I guess black worry about this position, of course, that's the most open area, right? Mm -hmm. So when I do this, okay, why do that? This is like an instant move, right? Of course. But I will step prefer this. Yeah. So this this is maybe it's a, light. Uh, uh, what we call Aji. It's it's, Aji, it's, it's just, just Kikashi. It's a, I, Kikashi. I think it's called Kikashi. Kikashi. Because if you like, doesn't do this, just play here. Everybody will choose the move here or sure, there, sure. right? Nobody will choose this. Right. Even though this may not be great, but uh, already you occupy the side first, you already got the best point in, over there. So why the cannot do that? So sometimes you'll play move just to sort of test, test yes, your, test to your opponent. to see what would you do. To see what would you do. But that yes. doesn't mean that you have to follow up. Right, no. A single so the light in the early opening. Let's may, see if a wide want to sacrifice here. it, maybe not, I haven't decided. Okay, I, I, I play here. You, you, you really want to play this move, oh, don't yeah, you? that's urging. Uh, because white also not easy to choose the next even, move. Even, if you have to attack the single stone, tightly, or oh, here bad, right? This is light. Softly, nope, not, not enough pressure. Yeah, you can still tenuki. Yeah, but I can still tenuki. I mean, over here would be so yeah, big. Yeah, big, and then there's some, some move over there, you know. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a pretty interesting. It's light. Yeah, this is too good for black. So th this position isn't good, okay? Mm. All right. So they just play normal. Of course, normal isn't bad. But, uh. Oh, I don't think you're going to like this move. That, that's okay. This it's okay? Is, it's all right? Yeah, it's okay. It's good. Because this puts maximum pressure. Ah. Uh, if we play softly like this, then black will slide. Slide, sure, sure, yeah, sure. Settle quickly. Of course, that's bad news. It looks too close. It looks right? so close. So close, but uh, it still puts bigger pressure on black. Because you have. Uh, later, white can attack from the outside. You know? right. 
also this will have a better follow-up move. Okay. For example, if a block helps this idea of position for white. Right. right. Which is, okay. which so is, which is why black. Yeah, but let's say, okay, that's your idea point. I will take it first. Mm -hmm. Sometimes do this might be a little too tight because why do we use a leaning attack like that? And then they come back, lean yeah. this way and they go. Yeah, so if this happens, yeah, this group is a, you know, under bigger pressure. Mm. The white will control the outside. So this is a little too tight, too close to white, it's a strong group. So black choose this, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, this move seems like too territorial. Yeah. So white, I, white has to do something like that. Still, you have to keep up more pressure. Interesting, on interesting. Okay, all right. Yeah, something like that. Leaning attack. Wow. I like that. Okay, aggressively. Okay, why did just take a take a benefit? Well, but this, that's this not is the territory light. Now. It is territory, but it's not efficient. But it's, it's you can see this is three stones here. I like these three stones. Bigger. Oh yeah, much bigger, more but, efficient. But also these are not consistent with playing the high move. They're you still don't, you don't bad use, arch. Still if, bad you, arch. if you want this, you could just play that's this. That's right. Two moves, you got twelve points. Three moves, got fifteen points. That's, that's not going to do it's it, is good. it? Average, you know, it's even low, <laughs> right? Yeah, it is big looking, but it's too close. Yeah, yeah. Okay, know. so now the singles don't light. Mm -hmm. And he's and he's not worried about these. Not worried about that because there's still lots of space. Right. Um, all right, so black takes the big move on the side. Okay, of course. Uh, he's still still not playing this. Yeah, I think it is a big. Uh, maybe worry about white play here. Yeah? Probably so. Hmm. But this is still invadable here. Yeah. Okay. So Black could choose the move uh, High. to yeah. make a. Hmm. Uh -oh. This is really territory. Yeah. Yeah. So I think you're, you're, from your analysis, they both missed the big point. Th this move uh, counter helps everybody. Mm -hmm. It's not just here. Of course, this is not small. After black got this, if next move got that, support this one, support the mm. that group. That's important. So really? That's why when black chooses this, the white got that immediately. Yep. Because when white have uh, outside more influence, mm -hmm. and uh, we, you know, attack uh, the, this weaker stone later. So now things get interesting. Black comes right in. Uh, this is a standard. And a white will touch it. It will like that. So it seems that white is good, right? It's very solid. Plus, mm -hmm. it is hardly under two stones. Right. That's really powerful. Uh, so black do not like that. So black try something in white. Before that, so black say, ask him, well, what would you do? Mm -hmm. Sometimes white has to play here right now. Mm -hmm, this mm -hmm. is a good timing. This is setting up the cut. Yeah, if we like answer here, this will be consented, right? This will be consented. So if that happens, white no need to do this. White can do that. Yep. Okay. So white connects. So this is for nothing, right? Mm -hmm. So that means black cannot answer here, so black can only answer there. I think that change is good for white because it uh, reduces their points in black. Also, white got more stone outside, so mm -hmm. it could be useful. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's stone already. Maybe at this or time to play here, to try to link up. Okay, they didn't try that. No choice. <clears throat> the white connects. No choice. Black link up. Mm -hmm. uh, it seems that black has some benefit because you can see the, 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 the white stone. There's so many stones, right? Mm. Some kind of empty triangle, something like that. That's uh, over concentrate. So the next move, white play here, right? I think this is necessary. Take one more. Why? Because white has a liberty problem. Mm. Two stones show liberty plus 
connection mm -hmm, graph. Mm -hmm. So this move is necessary. Uh, assuming, black, uh, assuming black will defend something like that, or maybe here, hop the corner. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But at least the white is very solid. It's a nice wall. Yeah, I think this dark change isn't, isn't bad for white. Okay, so maybe why say I can do something here later. Who wants to keep it? Yeah, yeah, so that's why I play here, but also there's a problem, connection problem. Oh, interesting. So, so black goes black ahead and defend. defends, yeah. yeah. Because if we do this, but I will not defend anymore. Okay. Uh, so this is Sente, sort of. So in this moment, this is a must, I think. Mm. This is a must. Because Balaka was strong already, right? Right. So in this so moment, the push cut is so big, so Balaka need that. Mm -hmm. So then do something else. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do, because I really think White's next move is interesting. The move is here. We're going to go to break, and so this is a good place to leave this, because okay. I want to, when we come back, that's, okay. oh, that's Steve, interesting. Stephen will be back with our, our second uh, set of commentary, and we'll okay. talk about it. We've got to in an interesting place. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. Uh, I'll do a little sit down uh, with Todd Heidenreich. We're going to talk about the Perigo tournament that's happening tonight, and then we'll come back with more with Mr. Yang. This has sure. been great. I always love sitting and talking opening game with you. You, you are sort of the, the opening game master. Thank so you. It's Thank really you. wonderful I'm stuff. Trying. <laughs> so remember, folks, you can ask questions uh, about any of the part of the game, and uh, Mr. Yang will, will definitely have the right answers sure. for you. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll be right back. All right, we're going to be back with more commentary with Mr. Yang, Stephen Hu will be uh, hosting that. Uh, but I want to have a quick visit with Todd Heidenreich, uh, who for uh, this particular segment is wearing his Perigo tournament director uh, hat and is also representing, of course, for the Penguins, but that's another show. Uh, <laughs> so Todd, uh, yes. Perigo annual tournament is tonight, Thursday night. Uh, tell us what Perigo is. Uh, Perigo is one of the more popular tournaments at Congress each year. Mm -hmm. um, it is probably the most social tournament. Uh, it gets everyone involved. And it was originally developed mostly to, with the idea of having an excuse to get more women involved in the game. So just to, just to remind folks, so in, in Perigo, so in regular, obviously, as, as you're seeing, you have one player versus one player. Yes. Um, and could be male, male, female, female, I mean, whatever, whatever. But it's just two players. Whereas in Perigo, you have two players on each side. Uh, traditionally, it's a male, female couple. And there's this whole, we're not going to get into all the rules, but there's this whole issues about who gets to go first and passing. The, the players do not talk to each other. Right, that's key what Perigo hard <laughs> maddening and interesting at the same time right uh, because you have partnerships and some partnerships have been playing together for a long time mm -hmm. um, husband and wife boyfriend girlfriend they, they play together often especially as perigo right but because you're not allowed to communicate with each other other than how much time is left or wh whose move it is mm -hmm. um, you have to have some understanding of what their intent is going to be and often that is difficult to know um, so you have to Try to, especially if you have a strong player playing with a weaker player. Right. So the pair, um, the pair ups wind up being very interesting. I think you were saying today that you've got uh, like Keith Arnold is playing with his daughter. Keith is uh, four on these days. Thirty Q. Thirty Q. So then you average that out. It comes out to about a twelve and a half pair, par, par, pair point partnership, and they're playing another pair that will be a twelve Q and a thirteen Q playing together. So very evenly matched pair with a pair that's a very strong and weak pair. And which brings up an interesting point because you would think Keith is going to be the strongest person on the board. He's for Don, uh, and he's basically playing, you know, a bunch of Q players. So you would think that that, that should be a slam dunk for Keith, yes, but, but there's a problem with that. There's a problem with that in that it requires a special kind of skill to be able to know what your tendencies of your partner is going to be. Right. And if you're much stronger than your partner, you don't want to play things that are so complicated your partner won't understand. It's sort of really complicated what you're doing. fight, right? Right. Because if your partner won't be able to help you in that fight, it may hinder you. Because um, you only get to play every other move. Every other move. For your partnership, yes. Right. And so you get to actually play so I play, then the opponent plays then my partner plays, then the other person plays, right. then I play. So it's actually, I don't get to play every other move. I get to play, play every, every fourth, fourth move. move. Right, right. And a lot can happen 
uh, the whole game could change <laughs> in those four moves, yes. So it, you have to be able to steer your partner into the right line of play if, right. if you're much stronger than that. Right. And it can be very interesting. So um, it's interesting, you, I know, have, I think you've played contract bridge, right? Yes. So the interesting thing here is that uh, you know, Go is a game, of course, of total information. So right. you, you, when you are playing moves that are really obvious to your partner, you're also playing moves that are really obvious yes, to your, your opponents. opponents. Yes. Unlike in Contract Bridge, for example, where you, know, yes. you have to deal with... You so, know, yeah, and if you have one very strong player and three very weak players, like Michael Redman once commented to me that it was almost like playing against three people. It uh, is. It's not almost. Because, it is. Yes. So it gets it leads to some very interesting games. Uh, some very unusual things can happen. Mm -hmm. um, there's also the aspect of time pressure because ah, that's right. Uh, generally, yes. uh, regular Perigo rules we play 45 minutes basic time for each side, but no overtime. So there's sudden death uh, with no overtime. Ooh, scary! Uh, especially with the stronger players, the games last the whole 45 minutes for both sides. Yeah, yeah. And it can get very interesting when both sides <laughs> are running out of time and trying to think through more complicated positions later in the game. And trying to um, remember the rules in terms of and hitting the clock, not to hit don't play out of order. Try, yes, because if they play out of order, then it's a three-stone penalty. Which can be and critical. if it's just a sequencing problem, then the stone stays on the board. So you just continue on as if that was the proper move and right. pay the penalty and move on. Right. Uh, that can get um, very uh, frantic at, when both sides are running out of time. Yeah. Uh, but this makes it exciting. Yeah. Plus, it's uh, it's very social outside of the game, and often people, people dress, dress up, up yeah. in formal dress or costumes uh, sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, and often, a lot of times, especially with the weaker players that don't play all the time, this is the only set of games they're going to play during the week. And uh -huh. uh, some, so especially with the players that never play Go other than Pergo, um, they don't have a lot of experience, so it gets very interesting. Right. Well, it's uh, a fun boards, tournament. The top boards are, are generally combinations of very strong players. Right. So, right. And we have the top table in the tournament, um, which is separate from the main tournament, and that the winner of that um, top table will be our representative to the World Paragro Championship. Yeah, I've been to uh, those. December so have you. 7th, 8th, and 9th in Tokyo. Yeah. Um, so we send one pair as a U.S. representative. And those are wonderful because everybody uh, definitely dresses up. They're, I mean, every, for every match, they're, they're, it's, it's fairly formal. Yes, um, I got to attend it a few years ago, mm -hmm. and it is very formal. Um, everyone is in formal dress. Suits and, and the skirt. Or, or and dresses, national costumes. National, yeah, um, they have the national costumes. Yeah, I think I had to wear a cowboy hat the year that I went. Yes. Yeah, so each nation takes their own co see. costume. And it's very interesting because the U.S. doesn't really have a traditional dress that's for the whole country. That's, yeah, that's uh, why so I went with the cowboy hat because that's everybody expects an American to wear the cowboy hat. Yes. So, so. It, it, it's, it's, it's a wonderful tournament. And the Japan uh, Perigo Association does a, a wonderful job hosting that um, each December. Well, and they've been, you know, as you mentioned, you know, the idea was to, to uh, bring more, more women into the game and also to really uh, work on the social aspect of it. Yeah. Uh, it's one of my favorite tournaments uh, to, to watch because people are just having such a good time. You see such interesting uh, matchups. Um, and it's a great tournament to take pictures of because you have uh, such an interesting mix of yeah. people. And it's a it's a good, it's an easy tournament to run once it gets started, right? Because basically it runs itself once everyone is started, right? Uh, so I enjoy the tournament once I get everybody playing, right? I don't think we're going to be streaming it this year, but if you want to watch, uh, we may be able to get it onto OGS, uh, maybe the top it will board. Be the, um, or are you we'll play, be are you doing on, a, a we'll be broadcasting, recording, and broadcasting on Pandanet. On Pandanet, of course, because they uh, are the sponsors. sponsored by yes. yes. That's but so if you go to Pandanet, um, you'll be able to see it. It starts at, I'm hoping to have it started by 7.30 tonight. And the top time. table, they're separate, so they will be starting right after 7 o'clock. Okay, so 7 o'clock, 
Pandanet, tune in, and you'll be able to see the top board yeah. uh, for Pergo. So, all right. Well, Todd, thanks for There's being a with us. at those top boards. Yeah. Todd is also uh, training to do some of the producing here on our streaming. So, uh, thanks for doing that as well. We appreciate that, it's, and Stephen appreciates that. It's interesting that. as long as I remember to turn the music off before I put everyone on. That's right. Any of the bad <laughs> stuff that happens, I'm sure that's Todd. It's not Stephen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. Uh, we appreciate you jumping in and helping out with that. So good luck with the tournament tonight. Uh, thank you. Yep. Uh, we're going to wrap up here and kick it back uh, to Stephen and then Mr. Yang in just a couple of minutes, uh, and we'll pick up uh, the commentary on round five. five. I'm confused because I was just over with the U.S. Open, which is on round four, but the Masters is in round five, and we'll be back with uh, more commentary momentarily. Welcome back from the break. Welcome back to our live commentary. This is round five of the 2019 U.S. Masters live from the U.S. Go Congress in Madison, Wisconsin. I'm joined here once again with uh, Mr. Ethan Yang, seventh and professional, of course, the, the Bob Ross of modern Go. Uh, <laughs> it's always so uh, enjoyable to hear your commentary, of course. We have more stuff coming up. The games have already been, been started. They're still going on at the moment. So if you want to check out the games in real time, you can go to the OGS, of course, you know, o online Go server. We have the links already in the chat there. So uh, if you want to roof up your players, there are polls in, under uh, the video players. So you can definitely go do that too. Uh, but anyway, we're just going to jump back into it. Uh, I think, Mr. Yang, uh, so far it's, uh, so it's OK for both sides, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But there's still a little mistakes. For, okay. for example, in this case, uh, why the need to play? Oh yeah, this is a big move, right? Is it no, it's, it's, it's important, it's a re, dub, almost double center. It's a double center. Right, right. Because black was strong enough, if white extend here, black answers, mm -hmm. this position is very solid. The shape is much better, right? Much better, yes. So white somehow use forcing move. Right. Okay, hold on. All right. Usually black need to answer here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So white probably will continue like that. Yeah. So you black, uh, there are two choices. Black go this way. Well, C as black in, mm -hmm. so white needs a connection. So this group is under pressure. Exactly. If black uh, cuts, it's hard to save this. So white will do it like this. Mm -hmm. So turn it will be like this. So when white got this, maybe this area become more developable. So this is a white play, I guess. Mm -hmm. And uh, after white play here, if black push it this way, yeah. There's another way, so why the must lock the door? Go this way. Now, this is a tough decision. Sure. So, okay. can white like Hane? Yeah, if want? white pull back, this is too easy for black, right? Yeah, because they can go. Yeah, yeah, live with a valuable move, so white probably wear double Hane. If black can only answer, now this is painful for black. Yeah. This become real territory, thickness, they are not too easy yet. Yeah. So, yeah. black must cut here. Uh, we're going to probably see a trade, right? Yeah, and yes. Take that. Yeah, something like that. <clears throat> so just wedge. And yeah, then, when now, you now set we up a double Atari. Atari, so Black cannot do this. The so, double Atari is too severe. So Black need to do something like this, or just here. Mm -hmm. And then White's probably going yeah. to so Black got benefit, but White has swallowed too. Yeah, that looks super good in this yeah. area at least. Yeah, right? it's really good for White. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's why Black worry about this. <clears throat> So I think White's plan was he was expecting Black to answer. Yes, general, yeah, mm -hmm. but people will play here, right? And of course, in, in general, of course, if there are no urgent things going on, maybe, That's right. you know, we should always stay That's connected. That's right, so here, I, I saw the market spend a lot of time, right? This is an important decision. Exactly. If answers, maybe white control the game. So that's why black start to punish White's weakness here. Right, so this is where we're going with the okay. current game, so we can, have, of course, so white uh, no choice. see what happened there. We're still quite. We're, we're still a bit behind, so we're just gonna play through. I think what they mm -hmm. uh, decided to do in the, in the actual game. Of course, if you have any questions uh, about you know any position so far, Mr. Yang is very happy to answer all of them. Sure. Uh, just you know send us those questions into a chat, and uh, we'll be very happy to answer them. So, anyway, uh, yeah, in the game, so Black did Tanuki, and I think yeah, with strong players, you know, they they pick up on this. Yeah, very, they don't. They don't like to always yeah. respond. Yeah, and, and there's almost like a fighting spirit, right? Because like, if you want this area, I'm, I'm gonna, you know, I have to that. do. It. Yeah, you do yours. I do yeah. mine. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so this is the time. Yeah. Malaka going to push a cut. Well, that's exciting because we're gonna see a fight. So. Uh, okay. Yeah. What's yeah, Atari. that separates the white the two weaker mm -hmm. groups. Yeah, of course, white says, I also do what I wanted to do, which is to separate. So okay. White did that, and then black says, yeah, I will do that. Black play here. Yeah, follow through with his plan. 
this move seems like a little, little too conservative. It's a, it's a passive play. Okay. So she'll have to play here. So larger, right? This yes, larger. Because, because the two stone not very important. This is a strong group, a good position. Mm -hmm. Only if Black help this group, the, the, the two, two stone may be a bigger swallow. Mm -hmm. Because when Black play here, may also put more pressure on this group. Yeah. Ima uh, like imagine if all of this became Black's yeah. territory. Yo, if this become Black territory, <laughs> I think Black is way ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's 3D, right? <laughs> it's, 3D. <laughs> yeah. it's like a cube. Yeah, yeah, it's a bigger box. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this move so, seems like a Okay, he, so he chose a save option, right? Yeah, of course, this move guaranteed to catch a two, but not necessary. I mean, there, there are some upsides to it. Like, it's more solid, right? But then there's always a trade off between yeah, security yes. and speed. At least, I like this. Mm -hmm. That was the Kazumi, right? Yeah, because the two stone need more liberty, uh -huh. keep a connection. Because when Bala play here, they, they, there's a lot, lot, lot of problems. Yeah. Later, White has many forcing moves, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Well, so far, I think I think White didn't do that immediately. Uh, in this, yeah, it's, it's interesting. In these past ten moves, we've we've been seeing, you know, both players carrying out their own plans, you know, yeah. without really directly answering each other. So actually, White didn't even. You know, answering that area either. Uh, he he played a big move on the bottom, it seems. Uh, so the pincer, which set, which I guess puts pressure on this stone, and then Black is doing his own thing I, as well. I think and this is also a very important mm -hmm. point. You know, how about this group as a threat something here? So why should it fix, right? I think so. Uh, is there any follow? -up? Can we play out like this variation? If, uh, if answer Black anything? answers, that change is already good enough for White. Then do something here, right? Sure. And if black can still take a that, mm -hmm. okay, there, there, at least there's lots of forcing moves. Also, this move isn't small, but if white finish your territory there, it's mm -hmm. also, not, also not small, right? Yeah. I mean, so. So I guess they both are really territory type of go player. They always you know, do something for sure, it is valuable, mm -hmm. you know. We know that this value, the how important this is. I think important, maybe not that important. Right. So that, that, they, they just trust the value one more first. Yeah, yeah. OK. Yeah, so far they've been taking, they've both been taking a lot of those. And uh, yeah, so black took that away. Of I course, this is respond. very good. Put brick pressure on white. How about the two stones, right? Also control the open area. Yeah, exactly. So all right, let's see if, is, is white going to, OK, white, white, this time he does kind of respond. Yes. So oh, you have to, yeah. <laughs> urgent. So yeah, also this, this, this is uh, the most efficient way to help a white. If we usually just go that way, uh, it looks uh, spend, white will spend many moves inside. It's painful. Yes, so white uh, try to use a forcing move, touch a strong stone mm -hmm. to support the weaker group. Yeah. Of course, stone touch a stone, not tenoki. So black yeah. going to push mm -hmm. up. Sometimes yep. sometime push it this way, but I push up, try to separate white. Mm -hmm. So white has three choices. Yeah. One, two, three. Which one would you like? Uh, I mean, I guess like the the Hane would be um, it would expose yeah. like a cutting point, right? It doesn't make a sense because yeah. there's no reason to take a liberty and strong stones. Sure, sure. Right? Yeah. This one better than that, but I leave the you know hop the single stone. Actually, the single stone isn't important. Mm -hmm. So this is the only move. This is the move to try to more help this group. Right. Okay. Um, so okay, White has to do something to uh, white, prevent this from being surrounded. Yeah, White right? has to help this group. Yeah. Just use force him move, then jump out. That's here. what this game is all about. If so wider just jump out here, Balaka yeah. maybe can play really fast mode to get out. Mm -hmm. But I, after this exchange, Balaka isn't easy to get out that way. Yeah. Okay. So then it's, a, it's, a, it's a surrounding game after yes, all. Yes. Yes. So, which is the name of the game. Speaking of that, we're actually we're gonna have already Wolock, our uh, the, uh, director of the uh, surrounding game movie, is is gonna be with us after this break. So uh, you know that that's uh, okay, always a lot of fun when we talk to him. Uh, okay. Good. So Black still yeah. try to leave Korea's cutting point right. to attack this one. White Atari has no choice. Mm -hmm. So after that, White needs to help the inside group, which is here. Mm -hmm. So the next move, Black, is I guess, cut? must cut. Yeah. yeah. Because Probably. after you push, push, create a cut, you must cut. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sometimes we saw somebody play, push it, after push it, they take okay, no. <laughs> if you don't cut, don't push it, right? So you have to follow through with the plan. Yeah, yes, follow through. Okay, why the need to help the inside weaker group? Uh -huh. Atari, but I have no choice. Okay, so why does have to connect? Right? Why does to connect? So the and next then... move, but I have to do something here. Yeah. Okay, hold on. 
uh, seems like it's not obvious. This is a normal move mm -hmm. to capture the cutting stone for sure, right? Yeah. Also help with two stones. This is definitely wrong, right? Even though this is double Atari, but Atari is small, this is important. Mm -hmm. But this is really bad for Black. So maybe Black could do something around here to swallow all white possible. Mm. Let's see if we're here. Yeah, it's, it's tricky, right? Because there's there's a pretty open space and then... Yeah, what, then we'll put a white that we'll keep pushing. Yeah. Then we for Black like stop. Is there some magic? No, this is reading. It's <laughs> not magic. Oh yeah, you could call magic. <laughs> They got a strong player, they can, they can see the yeah, eventual yeah. result, but somebody we cannot see it. Uh -huh. So they call it magic, right? Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> sure. yeah, this is complicated. Magic takes practice. <laughs> yes. Okay, this is a diff difficult mm -hmm. situation. Seems like difficult for Black because Black need to help a two group at our side. Right, right. Okay. So, so actually, actually, in the game, we can we can see what he does in the game. He, so he Black picks. just uh, play here yeah. because this movie we can see. There's two good follow up before Black. Mm -hmm. If a white link up, that's easy to swallow white. Yeah, and then this, this is covered. Because yeah. there's no any weakness in black. Yeah, so even if you... No yeah. cutting point. So you can live inside, maybe, but it's painful, right? If a bad luck, this group is dead. <laughs> the game is yeah. over. So white cannot right. do that. So white need to move out of this way. Mm -hmm. Move out of this way, two choice. This is one, mm -hmm. that's two. Which the one? Probably the, this one's lighter, I guess? Lighter, of course, lighter. Because mm -hmm. if white cannot save the cutting stones here, this yeah. single stone isn't important, understand? Mm -hmm. if, we, if, we, if the position like this, maybe this is the move you say, I must, must keep a connection. But no, not necessarily to help this, so white mm -hmm. play. Right, so, okay. so he does give up these two stones. Though. That's right, so black. Okay. Going to swallow cutting stones. Yeah, and then, uh, so white just says that's fine, and uh, white pushes out. Yeah, but black already got a bigger benefit. Uh huh. So actually, yeah, white still has some work to do with the to this group, yet. Right? Not too ice yeah. yet, not too ice yet. Yeah, he has to jump out. Yeah, uh, so black pushes. Yeah, white jumps out. Jump out. And black gets this one. Black, uh, this the move to link up a single star, so yeah. uh, destroy white's eye ship, right? Yeah. So oh, there's a fixed. squeeze, yeah, necessary. Mm -hmm. Now the two stone important, yeah, right? Early time, if we just don't hear how great that is. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. I suggest here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so Black and West them over here, you know? It only makes so the much sense here, right there, yeah. wow, game's over, you know? Okay, so this is almost like a West right. move. Now Black need to defend here. That's true, that's okay. true. So this means, I mean, like White's, Temporarily okay, right? Because he has, I mean, he has like some ways to make a second this eye. This is one eye, this yeah. is a second eye for curl. Let oh, me show okay. You. I like a play here, yeah. Ah, I see, I see. So it's no, it's no two eyes exactly. So it's, ah. it's a big, heavy, right. heavy, heavy group. So white have to take care of it. Mm -hmm. No two eyes exactly. So that's but why black play here, white to move so out. He, yeah, oh, he's attaching If here. white continue to escape, this uh -huh. is so big. Yeah, so he's... Going in. Asking seems... move. Yeah. That's good. Asking move. Touch a strong stone. Yeah. Help this area a little bit. Okay. So this is called stone touch a stone. Mm -hmm. well, we should not do tenoki. Okay. Extend when you are strong. You will say, why are you play such a slow move? Well, after you play slow move, it doesn't leave any weakness, mm -hmm. doesn't leave any useful forcing move for your opponent. So be patient during attack. If we play Hane, there's many forcing moves for white, right? Yeah. Okay, so this is the best response. You, I mean, usually cross cuts is when we generate yes. this kind of complication, yes. right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, so this is good, could be big. Uh -huh. If white just play normal escape, for instance, like that. Yeah. Maybe this is a really big territory, right? Yeah. Yeah, that looks like the, already like a quadrant of the board. It's that's so big. right. This is like a 70, 80, you know, points. Yeah, yeah. You know? That's too big. So that's why this is the timing. White has to go in, right? Try yeah, to reduce. reduce. Where to yeah. start to reduce? Hold on. Mm -hmm. uh, there's many choices. I always say we have to choose a proper reduction from the door, the door of Black's position. Mm -hmm. Like this. So this is like, the most open like this stance. line, right? Yeah, like this. Ah. This is called door. Okay. We have yeah. to find a move ar uh, around that lens. We have it's to knock on the door. Yeah. If you play to outside, but like finished, right? Yeah. If you play into inside, but like covered you. It's so good. Yeah, so yeah. I have to 
reduce front the door. Yeah, mm -hmm. why they're exactly like that, see? Reasonable. Mm -hmm. And then, so that's what he did in the game, right? Okay, Black just, in the game, he just covers uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. from inside. Uh, this, this move, to me, seems yeah. like a so passive. You don't like it? I don't like it. <laughs> the instantly shall be here. So, okay, so I see, so putting pressure. You have to attack. Uh, Besides, mm -hmm. White has another weaker group here. Yeah. But, uh, you know, uh, Mark has very, very patient go player, right? He very can also solid. be devastating. Uh, mm -hmm. When he fights, he does oh, yes, demolish yes, people. Oh, yes, 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 you're really. <laughs> but uh, the, the, he has that kind of very solid style, you know, mm -hmm. no gamble, right? Right. Instantly, you should have to try this. At least you have to take a look. If White try to move out, mm -hmm. cover, cut. Sure. Okay. Or even here first. Oh, that's tricky. This seems like good for black. Yeah, I mean, it looks like he has more stones in yeah, here. Yeah, you have more stones besides number. this group is there yeah. under pressure, right? Hmm. I mean, I mean, I just, the, the, the picture here is actually quite visual, right? Because if I just imagine. However, when Bala has so yeah. many stones here, must be aggressive. Is that this looks mm -hmm. too defensively. Just swallow this. Maybe he, he judged this is good enough for Black. I don't know. Later, we may ask him. Yeah, of course, it depends on the position, right? Because mm -hmm. if you're leading, of course, there's no, no need to yes. undertake any risks. Bala did, did very aggressively. Um, Still try to touch your strong stone? Yeah, White, White's actually doing all the aggressive stuff. Uh, as White, the they are seems. very aggressive, but I play very defensively. Yeah. And then, so Black Harness. Black Harness. Yeah, White extends. Black connects. So, yeah, attach. So, Black just hold the territory here. Mm -hmm. Is that big enough? Uh, well, certainly it seems like White's gotten further inside, right? I think this result isn't good enough for black. It's, a, it's a big, but it's a smaller than before, plus the stone be separate, mm -hmm. right? So, so not, it's not only a points issue now, like black has to worry about this other stone too. Mm. So then black need to get more liberties, they touch each other, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so why the play here? Why the defender connection, which is sente. Oh, this black seems, uh, seems like over concentrate. Hmm. Yeah, it feels like there are so many stones in this it, area. It is big, yeah, but I spend more and more move. You know, three, three mm -hmm. here, three there. Yeah. And uh, the key point is this, this two stones be, be, be separate, floating. Mm -hmm. It could be a problem. So I, I think black has to be aggressive to attack white first. Mm. Uh, too defensive. But Maybe this is the easiest way to win, you know? Yeah, but yeah. I, I don't have that kind of confidence if I'm black. Well, actually, it's White's turn, right? So actually, White can get a yeah, get yes. first That's shot right. at That's trying right. to sell I think White does not have a chance. So yeah, he pushes out. Push it here, yes. And Black, I think Black still has to worry about like... Uh, the two stone cannot be swallowed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Black need to oh. get more liberty ice space here by yeah. forcing move. Mm -hmm. So White is going to split. And then... The Black yeah, needs more liberty and ice space. Of course, why the separate? So I think this game is going to be interesting. I think a, a, it's not that easy for Black anymore. Mm. Black spent too many moves here. Yeah, he's actually getting cut, right? Like in, in the game, yeah. he's completely like severed. Yeah, from, before from this the... Black position, not suddenly yeah. become White's position. That's hugely different. Hmm. So right? it looks like the, the position so right early now time, is not if for Black to attack, even if you couldn't kill the White, you got thickness. Mm -hmm. You destroy everything else. Yeah. Now this will be real territory. If this becomes real territory, why is okay? Mm -hmm. Because this group is under attack. Severe, right. Serious, you know, problem, right? Yeah, that, like that's what, what we usually worry about, right? Because when we have a target, like a weak stone, then we mm -hmm. first have to worry about like settling that first before we, we get a chance to do anything else. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, uh, it's, it's risky because our opponent will just, you know, keep attacking and mm. just keep themselves in the driver's seat, right? Mm -hmm. So we just lose yes. control. Yes. Um, okay, but that's going yeah. to make a small position. All right, so yeah, yeah, that's very out. nice. Uh, see us black in, also hop white. Mm -hmm. Also add lots uh, more inference in the center. Yeah. 
Wow, black tree. Yeah, it seems like this is getting uh, if this saw big. territory, it's bigger than yeah, bigger than Balat's territory. It's really big. That's also big, but no potential. It's like already limited, right? The, yeah, the boundaries yeah, have yeah. been drawn. That's right. But this has a big potential. Who knows how many points does white have here? Nobody knows. <laughs> right. So it depends. Uh, has the fight, right? I the think there will be some fight. I I, I know Mark. But I think of he course, only bad news for white that this school was, doesn't have two eyes yet. That's true. Okay. So which is why he's done something about it first, right? This is actually a pretty natural direction to. So no, Balaka doesn't have time to live inside. Uh huh. Uh, if we like to live inside, okay, this, this, of course, this uh, sure. looks, look, looks so, so thinful. Mm -hmm. Then if white somehow get that, yeah. get this, I think this could oh, be all territory so, possible. It's like, a, it's like a whole universe here. In yeah, the still, why does they have a chance, right? Yeah. Of course, this is still not real, but it may possible to be real. You know? Sure, sure. Okay, so, okay, black, so black has to do that first. Black doesn't have time to just live like this. Mm -hmm. So black going to squeeze white. Right. And then, okay, white, white so uh, pushes. Mm -hmm. Pushes, right? Yeah, that's, that's right. So, so he black blocks. And then Atari. Atari, connect. Yeah. Okay. Next. Then white need to push out. Yeah. And then black places the Atari. Black try to swallow that. And then white. White also, too. yeah, white also got benefit. Mm -hmm. Link up, swallow this. Okay, black did get somewhere, I guess, in the center, so at least the... Yeah, this one's still escapable. Ah, so does he need to fix? Well, if a fix, uh, how's that group? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Because, <laughs> well, because if you fix here, right, then this is actually not centered for white. Mm, I don't think black have time to fix here. Uh, if a fix, this is the move. Uh -huh. It's also very big, but I worry about the, the group uh, over there. So you're group? saying if black fix is here, then why would just come back and kill that, right? Possible. Right. Well, actually he did. Yeah, so and I yeah, said, exactly this is the best to fix it. Yeah. Okay, because this capture this, also swallow that, and maybe bigger move can take, see? Oh. Just like a, what, what I say, right? Oof. Eric, so of course, why sword. is it going to punish? This group doesn't have yeah. two eyes. That's I, tough. I think that there's no way to escape. That's tough. Uh, so are we, are we is, is this like toast already? <laughs> is this black mm, For high level, it could be toast. But for, mm -hmm. for most uh, Go players, this is still too complicated. It's a bigger puzzle. But uh, in my opinion, this group probably will get killed. <laughs> well, actually, you are you're a master when, when we ask you this, because actually you have your own uh, Tomego books. Yeah, right? I, I did many, many <laughs> Tomego. Yeah, every day yeah. almost. Yeah. I tried to correct, so that, that's how my reading ability. So speaking of which, actually, tomatoes are a very important part of improving, right? Because if, oh, yeah. if we, like, if we want to learn like the patterns of life and death, we must do them. Uh, if you want to be a good, good player, just like to be one die, one K, this uh -huh. I call good player, you have to play, you have to, you will be able to solve the general, you know, puzzles. Right. If you want to be high level, like a six die, seven die, mm -hmm. you must read very well. Otherwise, yeah. it, no, nobody can be uh, top level <laughs> go yeah, player yeah. without the reading. You know, you yeah. play no matter what you play, nice, beautiful opening, reasonable position everywhere. Mm -hmm. If you couldn't read, you couldn't win the game. I've, I've, I've spent some time with strong players, and I know even you know on public transportation, they would even you know take out their phone or like take out a book or something. They would do these to make a problem. Yes, is, yes. <laughs> so I said there's some uh, student asking me what kind of go book do you recommend. I say for your level, just choose to make a book. More specifically, my to make a book. No, no, no. I never say, say that. I never say that. I'm not. I'm not businessman. <laughs> I always any to make a book. Good. Sure. It's good. Well, it's, well, I, especially, it's, it's a unique. It's it's not just a regular. You know, it's uh, like. A, a, <clears throat> well, if you bring some of your books, we can definitely do like because a book signing you, at the Because concert. they 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 to make a. Someone do smego just by memory, memorize. Uh -huh. That's not right. So you have to play, make some unusual, strange smego. Right. You don't have any memorize. Mm -hmm. They just figure out by itself. That's good practice. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because you always encounter like, new positions, right? Yes, so new positions. It's, it's not. It's not just mem remember. Oh, I know this. You have to yeah. play here. I play there. It's pretty hard to memorize everything and go using the human brain. That's so. right. Okay. <laughs> so black need to separate white. Okay. All right. So white's going for the kill. It seems right. He's, he's... Okay. So let's discuss how to do yeah. tomato. Okay. From the master okay. himself. 
when we are trying to attack any inside group, mm -hmm. so usually I will say, is there any eye point? Okay, where's the eye point? For example, the position like this, this is called eye point. Yeah. If there's eye point, you have to destroy. Because if you don't destroy, the opponent will use one move, one space to make a real eye. It's mm -hmm. very efficient. So you have to destroy. That means yeah. you can kill this one. You can make this eye, but you have to spend more space to make an eye. Maybe let's take a moment. Uh, so in case people are wondering what we're talking about, right? There's actually, uh, you know, the, one of the basic concepts of Go, right, is, is you make two eyes. Mm -hmm. And maybe we can just play this off our beginners here. Uh, so if you have two eyes, uh, you live on the board. Right? Yeah, you can survive. Right. Yes. So we can actually, yeah, let, let, we can play out like one of these example diagrams just uh, for our beginners uh, to, to have a feeling. For example, if you have two eyes like this, right? Um, so like these would be, you know, two actual eyes, and then even if white surrounds everything. Yeah, if white yeah. surrounds everything, take yeah. away all liberties, but the mm -hmm. white cannot put the stone. Yeah. Because there's another liberty. So but let's we can we can do this quickly. Okay. So, so surround everything. So yeah, now everything is surrounded. As you can see, there's no more way to go. Yeah. So black, but actually, if white comes in here, right, then it's a legal move because because uh, black has more mm -hmm. liberty. You cannot stay yeah. here. If you try that, it's the same. Yeah. You cannot stay, but you couldn't take away black stones. So actually, it's impossible to take black off the board, right? right. Which is what we're. So that's why we need two eyes yeah. to be survive. But inside. most of the times, it's not so obvious, right? Because we. Oh, we don't, it's not obvious. That's complicated. Yeah, we don't get eye spaces like spelled Th out like that. This is just a basic so. life and death. Sure, sure. Okay. So okay, let's go back. So generally, I think uh, white uh, right. not necessarily to play the move deeply like that. Uh -huh. um, there's no eye points, so right. I think uh, the general black white has to just squeeze from the open door. Mm. This is the door. This is the room in black. This is the open door. White cannot play deeply, just slowly. Yeah. If black close the open door, so then white just slowly to reduce from the door. I, don't, mm -hmm. I couldn't see how can black make two eyes. So just the calm way, right? so yes. just from outside, yes. slowly yes. but surely, uh, you know, making opponents yes. living space Squeeze. smaller. Yes, any position, if you don't have enough space, they will not be able to make a two eyes. Yeah. So the key point is just to reduce the space first. Right. Okay. I mean, also this way, there's like less damage, right? Even if you fail, like then you just always surround everything outside, right? So you don't lose the points here. But mm -hmm. I guess in this case, you know, you could, you know, for example, make a mistake, and then if black lifts, and then you know, black also takes away some points. OK, this game, uh, white is going to mm -hmm. put the stone in, because yeah. uh, white see there's a weakness in black. The he's, two he's, stone show liberty, blood. there's a cutting point. Yeah. So I think black put it here, right? Uh, then white link, OK, back. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, so white little harness. Bit. Oh, yeah, so there you White harness. So, and then Atari, uh, no, block, and then Atari. Like this, uh, and then hold on. In this case, I think black. It's time to Atari first. Asking ah. first. Okay, I don't know why black just defend. Okay, all right. They're, they're, because after maybe Atari, if white connects, then this becomes center. So why don't need to answer? Like maybe, code, right? maybe black will get more room, you know? Mm -hmm. But this way, seems like I obviously die. Obviously die, you said. <laughs> OK, so yeah, that's So good. after this, I mean, the now, now the time is gone, right? Uh, because. Why did uh, this connect? Yeah, because like now if you're Atari, then it's not a Right, big deal. it's not deal. This is uh -huh. small stones. Because black already connected. Right. So black lose all eye space, so there's no two eyes. So it seems like I got killed. Oh no, so what are we gonna do now? So we yeah. have to, can we kill this? Oh, how difficult, <laughs> because there's a cold battle, oh, yeah, yeah. plus there's a way to escape. Wait, so, so basically, if we cannot kill this, and then black doesn't live there, then it's game over. Seems like white is bad. Because oh. I would still don't know what's going on here. Exactly. Hold on, white, uh, mm -hmm. white, uh, uh, wait a minute, black. Oh, oh yeah, by cuts. Uh, by first Hold harness on. and then white. Don't be too early. Don't be too quick. Sure. Uh, black harness. Yeah, the harness. So white give up a stone. It's mm -hmm. asking move. Right. Okay, that's pretty interesting because mm -hmm. there's some uh, something here, right? Yeah. Uh, is there any kind of algae that? I mean, if black respond here, uh -huh. something happened here. 
Also, be yeah, it's, it's bad edge. Okay, okay. So that's why Balak right. defend here. Yeah. Then why got free Atari outside? Mm -hmm. so, okay, that's useful. So now right. White will be able to defend here. Oh, this is pretty pretty easy for White. Yeah, he just needs to like link up, right? He, uh, that's only the bad bad RG in this area. Um, just a quick question: Is there anything going on here? Like, Which one? Like, uh, no, no, Atari? this is Atari. This is Sente. Oh, that's Sente. Because after this Atari, the many problems in Black. White can make two eyes. So, like, if Black Atari is here, we can just play this out. Black right? Atari here. Actually, first. actually, White to make consider here connect the first. Uh huh. It's a it's a it's a double code, of course. Black can Atari here. Mm -hmm. If Black take off, or oh, this. Bigger benefit. Yeah, I mean, you can also push it there, right? No, this is become I. This is become I. Yeah. See? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Oh, so actually, there's no, there's basically no way to kill this white group, uh, right? Yeah, because there's a cutting like point. Like that becomes center. Yeah. yeah. The cutting point, this is become center. There's two eyes. Okay. So no problem here. Right. Oh, this is bad news for black. Ooh. And just like I, I earlier time, said, black, they're too passive here. Yeah. I. I mean, yeah, and, and, the, and the thing is, I think Eric knows that. This is the that, only problem in white, yeah. has the arch, it's a better arch. Mm -hmm. So white need to connect here, right? Yeah. And so, so black Ataris. Black Ataris, still try it. Yeah, but let's try to use. Uh, uh, and then, uh, yeah, connect here. Connect. Uh, yeah, connect yes. here. So Vlad also need to connect. Yeah, it's a bad RG here. So I think I think Eric is probably aware of the fact that if he just kills this group, right, and makes sure that this group doesn't die, then he's probably in a pretty pretty good position. Pretty good position, but others, you know, that kind of game, even you had about to, uh, 10 points, it's a close game. Mm -hmm. Because there's so many things not settled yet. That's true. Lots I mean, of open space. Yeah. Who got this? It's a 20 point move. You know, <laughs> yeah, it could yeah, yeah. be switched, right? Yeah. So you say white has ahead at 10 points. Somehow Black got that, oh, Black is ahead. Mm -hmm. It's a hard. It's a close. It's not regular territory type of game. It's a, you got ten points ahead. It's over. But All that right. kind of game, ten points ahead. I so actually, know. there's still a lot left in this game, right? We can actually, yeah, we can wait a bit and, and find out because I mean, most of these areas are still pretty open. Yeah. Uh, we're actually gonna take a break, uh, and when we come back, we'll have actually, uh, I think, the director of the surrounding game movie, as we alluded to earlier, Will Lockhart. Uh, oh, I love this man so much. Uh, you know, he actually he was on our surrounding game stream. Uh, I think a year and a half ago, we, we actually did a uh, a ghost stream on the on the main Twitch channel. So that mm -hmm. was really cool. So we're gonna talk to him. Of course, uh, Chris will have an interview with him, and when we come back, we'll uh, have more commentary. See you soon. Hey, we're back, and we're gonna be back with more commentary with Mr. Yang and Stephen in, in just a minute. Game is. Uh, into its final stages, getting very exciting. But we want to take a sec. We have a really special visitor, Will Lockhart, uh, the director of The Surrounding Game, one of the great Go films that come out in recent years. And wanted to just, uh, you, you just arrived today, last yeah. night? Yeah, that's right. Cool. So you're uh, just catching up with old Go friends and. Uh, yeah, I, exactly. You know, I was like, I had been to. A lot of, you know, I went to every Congress for a couple years in a row. Since you, know, you were, <laughs> I remember. Yeah, 10 or 12, something like yeah. that. Yeah. And, um, you know, I haven't been playing as much these days. I've been doing other things, but it's it's really great to be able to come back and just remember, you know, all the old friends and all you know, my whole history with the game and know that, like, it's always something that's there. Well, and to me, that gets, you know, we had this great thing, you know, the AlphaGo movie came out, and then your movie came out, and so all of a sudden, right. you know, we went from having zero Go movies to having two Go movies, but the thing I loved about the surrounding game is that, to me at least, it's really about the community, mm -hmm. and, and that, I think, is, is what you're talking about, the, the Go community. You just can't get out, can you? Yeah, no, exactly, <laughs> and I think one of the cool things about making the film, I mean, of course, in retrospect, there's always things you would have done differently or th questions you'll never be able to answer. What if we had done, done it this way or what if this had happened? Um, but I think one of the things that I'm proud of it for is just the fact that we had that insider perspective. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of times um, I, I, you know, I love documentary as a, as a form. Um, I think it's, it's just an amazing medium. Um, but a lot of times when you watch a documentary, you know, it's, it's very much from, from the outsider's perspective. It's, mm -hmm. you know, somebody stumbles upon an interesting topic or an interesting uh, community or niche or something and, you know, goes and explores it 
uh, and you know brings you along. Um, but the cool thing for us is you know because we were Go players first and filmmakers second, you know we had that that kind of insider access, which I think um, you know gives the film kind of a more personal touch. No, yeah, it definitely does. Um, I want to get uh, into some of the things that you're doing now, but just I wanted to follow up. Looking at it, it's been a few years now. Uh, people don't understand it takes many, many years to, to make a documentary. Yeah. You know, I mean, there's the planning, the shooting, the editing, the, you know, just a long time. So you're actually, a, you know, a number of years out now. Right. Looking back at it, you mentioned what, what are some of the big things that uh, if you were to do it again, yeah. God, God forbid, right? You're like, oh no. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's funny how many times I still get the questions like, okay, when's the sequel coming out? You know. <laughs> but um, Steven, Steven's over there. Yes. Yeah, where right. is it? Where is it? Exactly. Um, yeah. No, I think. Um, you know, it was so much bigger of a project than we thought going in, and in, in a way, like someone always gave us this. Someone told us later, a filmmaker said, you know, it's, it's good to be a little naive when you do your first film. I would say it's better than good. I think it's, it's necessary. necessary. If you knew, you wouldn't do exactly. it. Exactly. If you knew it was going to be, you know, so it ended up being like something like five years all, in, all told from, from beginning to end. Um, and I think when you guys started, you thought it was going to be like a, a year or two. Yeah, right? no. So and I, I mean, part of it was our, you know, our, uh, the goals, you know, the goals shifted as we saw how excited people were and, and we didn't know if we were going to have the opportunity to go to Asia or interview professionals or hire a, a professional, you know, what kind of talent we were going to be able to bring on, how much money we could raise, all this stuff was like we were having to figure out on the fly. So um, eventually, though, I think we got to a place where we're like, okay, we can stop moving the goalposts now. This is, <laughs> this is, you know, as much as we could have hoped. But I, am, I think, you know, one thing that I think sometimes gets lost in that I, if I have any regrets about the film, I would love, I, you know, I, I really want people to, you know, the, fil the film is fa has a fairly serious tone. You know, it's, it's, we try to make it dramatic, we follow this tournament, it's, there's a lot of pressure, um, you know, it's about life decisions and, and kind of, you know, the different characters' worldview and philosophy about how to spend their life and, you know, kind of trying to get at some of these, you know, uh, big, big ideas. Um, but what I, what I hope doesn't get lost is just that Go can also just be fun. Mm -hmm. You know, that it can also, it doesn't have to be this kind of existential struggle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it can mm -hmm. also just be uh, a really fun time. And, and, you know, when you see there's, so I, I hope that people get that out of it too, that they, they don't walk away being just saying, wow, those people are so, so serious and so intense and kind of crazy. You know, I could never do that because mm -hmm. I think you know it can be fun at all levels. In fact, I think it's more fun as a beginner. But when, when you get really strong, it becomes more about the competition and more about you know poise and pressure and you know these kind of things. But I, uh, I, you know, not playing as much these days. But you know, coming to something like this, you know, I think for me, it's all just about fun um, now. So I hope people like get you know see that in the game too. Yeah, it's 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 interesting because it it is a game, right? And and so, uh, people, oh, it's just a game. Of course, we don't feel that. Right. <laughs> um, but it is a fun game, and I think you're right. People can sometimes lose uh, track of that, you know, yeah. especially if you're involved in a high level tournament right, uh, right. like you guys cover in the surrounding game. You had some thoughts, and this is a whole other subject, so I don't want to get too deep into it. But you know, with AIs, which of course is just gone tremendously in just a few right. years. Um, do you have, you were pretty concerned about what would happen to the game of Go with, mm. with the advent of AIs. What's your current take on, on that? Yeah, that's an interesting interesting question. I think, I, you know, I was talking to someone who is a Go player but also an avid chess player. Mm. And they were describing how, you know, this same, this same story happened to chess 20 years ago. Right. Um, nobody thought, you know, people thought of chess as a window into human intelligence. Mm -hmm. Of course, computers could never beat us. You know, then of course we get smacked in the face with and have to with a dose of humility and right and say, okay, you know, maybe maybe we're not so special, or maybe or maybe technology is that good. However, you want to see it. But um, but yeah, you know, they were saying at first people thought we were in 
thought this was a disaster, it was going to mm -hmm. be a crisis, mm -hmm. no, it, it would take all the fun out of it, you know, et cetera. Um, but, you know, then it, you know, people still play chess, you know, there's still big chess tournaments, it's still, it's still a lot of fun. Um, and the flip side is that the AI is teaching people all kinds of new things that right. we never knew about. And right. so that, I think, especially professional players, um, are actually really excited about the AIs because there's all these new Joseki, there's all this new challenge to the dogma of human trial and error. Mm -hmm. And so that's really cool. I haven't been following the new, I haven't really been studying <laughs> the computer's play as much, so I'm, I'm gonna play the tournament tomorrow. I'm a little worried that everyone's gonna know all these AlphaGo Joseki's and I'm gonna <laughs> be like, oh man, I'm like stuck in the old ways. Mm -hmm. um, but I think coming to an event like this, you know, it's clear that the community is still alive and well. Um, and it, you know, in some ways, it'll never be quite the same. You know, mm -hmm. there's something for me, I think, emotionally that's lost um, in kind of that. We don't longer have that kind of treasure of this is unique. You know, unique. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, you know. The flip side is we are discovering new things, and obviously people still enjoy playing. So, and I think that's something that uh, Redmond uh, Redmond has talked a lot about. Yeah. Uh, Mike Redmond, nine nine professional, uh, and he totally thinks that. I mean, it's he, he has said very clearly he had gotten to a point where it just sort of felt stale. I think is the word that he used, mm -hmm. and he, you know, it's it's totally open now. You know, things that that you know you, you have to do it this way. It's like no. Right. You can tanuki, you can try this other thing, you know, maybe. And so it's really, as you, as you say, has opened up some new things. So it's, it's exciting. Last question. So, so what is Will Lockhart doing uh, with, your, with your life? You're, you're in a different place physically. <laughs> yeah, so I, just as the movie was wrapping up, um, I decided to go back to school. Um, I did my undergrad in physics, and uh, I had always sort of thought I wanted to, to go back to that world, mm. um, but you know, I got swept up in this project, and I have no regrets. It was amazing, um, and I think ultimately I needed that time to kind of not burn out. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, I'm back in school. I'm in a PhD program in astrophysics at the University of Arizona um, in Tucson, which is also, as you say, a, a totally new landscape for me. I'm from you're an East, East Coast boy, you know. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> but um, it's funny. This is not related to Go, but just uh, I've been talking to a lot of friends who grew up in New York. Um, who moved elsewhere and, you know, always assumed, oh, I, I, I'm an East Coaster, I gotta go back eventually, and now we're starting to see, see like, the upshots of, you know, not being in such an incredibly expensive and dense and claustrophobic place, and we're like, you know what, maybe, maybe New York's not the only place in the world. Well, you seem, <laughs> you seem a lot so. calmer, you, you know, you, I mean, there is definitely this whole, definitely New York, East Coast, you know, sure. over caffeinated. Right, Not right. that you don't have coffee in Arizona, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, so yeah, I've been liking it, it out there a lot. And uh, it's, the program has been, has been kind of a roller coaster. It's up and down, but I'm learning a lot. And, uh, and, and uh, yeah, it's fun. And then uh, every once in a while, you know, I'll, I'll feel that itch again. I'll get on KGS. <laughs> you know, I'm mostly, I think I'm, I'm semi-retired, semi-retired player maybe we'll see we'll see you tomorrow i hope you sound a little nervous yeah yeah well <laughs> we'll see i got to protect my my aga rating it's all it's all downhill from here so so you're going to find that the problem is you're you're worried about what well, you know the problem is that it's also people are gunning you because hey i beat will lock <laughs> that's you know that's that's a little notch in their belt so it's it's it's, it's more of that but you know what it's, i think it, people will be really it'll be a real honor for folks to play you so so take that and run oh, with it well, yeah, I, you know, I, thanks a lot. No, I'm <laughs> think, serious. Uh, it's, it's, that, that's, I think that's because otherwise you're just going to get, you know, it's, it's, and, and I wouldn't worry about protecting your rating. You, you, oh, you, no, you, know, what you, what it's you did, what your whole team did, of course, because film is a team effort, yeah, you know, yeah. and, and you have something that, you know, what we will have for the ages and that you can always be proud of. But I hope you do go on to do great things in physics. Yeah, thanks. And, and you know, I really, it really means a lot to hear people in the community you know, say that about the film. I mean, that was always our goal, is, is we want to make this for this community to have, you know, they helped fund the project. They, we had so many volunteers. It really was a community-driven effort. And so I hope, I hope people see, you know, themselves in it, in a sense, right. even if they're not literally in the film. <laughs> they, they feel like, you know, I can 
you know, this is, is, is a cool, you know, piece of art that represents, you know, a piece of, of my life and my community and my experience. So, um, well, well, Oscar, it's, it's, been, uh, it's been <laughs> great to have, it's great to have you back here. Nice to see you here at the Go Congress and good to catch up with you. Uh, speaking of catching up, we are going to uh, find out what's going on uh, with this game. So uh, we'll be take a short break uh, and then we'll be back with uh, Yilin Yang and with Stephen Hu and more game commentary. And of course, uh, your questions or comments are welcome. See you soon. All right, guys, welcome back from the break. It was a great interview, of course, with Chris and Will Lockhart, the director of the surrounding game. Of course, we have more stuff on the board. Actually, a lot has happened since then. Uh, so we're just going to jump back into it. Uh, this is board one of round five of US Masters. Once again, of course, we have Mr. Yang, uh, Elon Yang, seven-day professional with us. Uh, what well, wonderful commentary we've had so far. So uh, I, I, think, I think this is, you know, there's so many things going on. We, we're going to... We definitely need to, mm -hmm. <laughs> for, for the end, for sure. Uh, so I think, uh, I mean, they've played, they've played a lot more moves at this point. We're going to go through this segment a little bit faster. But of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask us. And of course, if you want, if you want to follow the games in real time, you can go to OGS. All right, so we're actually miss, we actually missed like one exchange earlier. So Black already did this. But as we mentioned earlier, right, this group was in trouble. OK. So. And yeah, it's asking move to see mm -hmm. well, what's why the response. Right. <laughs> so okay, this is. Yeah, in this case, uh, Black seems like uh, in trouble because uh, if we lose all this, this become our real territory. Of course, Black is way behind. Yeah. Um, but uh, this school will still have a connection problem, maybe mm -hmm. short liberty problem. So Black have to work hard. Yeah. Yeah, that's the way so to put pressure on White. Yeah. Well, even cuts. Separates. Yeah, Atari. More liberties. And, yeah. Black so, uh, pushes. Yeah, push. Uh, only try to get more liberties. Uh, mm -hmm. Leave with some weakness in the corner. Yeah, so now he peeps. Asking move. And then, oh, so white connects. Yeah, this is the move uh, threat. It's a threat to hop two stones. That's right. Also so try white, to use this. Mm -hmm. So white has to pull back. Yes. So the group will be die, but if Balaka can get some benefit to spoil this area, it is, it is their game. Yeah, also the thing is like this white group can, can be cut off, right? Yes. And of course now it's probably, uh, the ladder's not working here, I guess, in this case. No. Uh, because if black runs out, we can show this very quickly. Why the can escape? Yeah, so white can run and then we have this. We're touching this. Okay. Yeah, there's a stone. But, uh, so yeah, but black can, you know, ponder on that and think about what's possible. Uh, when I try to hop this three stone to be stronger. Oh, actually, that's already. After that, it's net. Ah. You see it? Even why the answers. Yeah, so let's play it out. Black Atari, it's net. When oh. Black got two stones, this group could be in problem. It's a really short of liberty. Yeah, at the very least, there's going to be like a pretty nasty uh, yeah. capturing race. So yeah. that's why White uh, yeah. cannot respond here. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. So, so, so White has to... White yeah, catch a three stones. Yeah, yeah. And then. Black link up a single stone mm -hmm. here. White needs more liberties. Yeah, and then... Okay, also black. create a cutting point here. Right. So Black need to protect the cutting point. But they're very clever. Because if Black end with center, the, the, the liberty race uh, uh, could be happens. Uh -huh. And uh, Black will be okay. Yeah, I feel like actually Marcus done pretty well to make things happen here. He did very good in the second half. Yeah. But I just play a little too passive here. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, so White still has to probably fix this. Right? Yeah, well, this is the reason. key point to keep a straight ship uh, to reduce liberty on Black. Right, okay. But Black can probably still threaten like a capturing race, right? So he yes. he can Hana in the corner. Hana in the corner, reduce then, liberty on White. Uh, so temporarily White can turn no key. So White after White Hana here. Leave the cutting point. So uh, just speaking of that, actually, there's one question earlier about a, about a move, so we're just gonna answer this right away. So uh, it was about uh, C13, so the fixing the cutting point. So I'm I'm guessing uh, that Black had to do that, right? Because what if Black plays the squeeze now? Uh, if I play squeeze here, why that no choice? Oh, okay. So yeah, can he? Well, I guess the first you thing is... Will I play here? Yeah, or can he play here or there? So, I mean, just to get that exchange first. Right? So, let's see. This is a liberty race. The white has five liberties. The black has two groups. It's right. not easy for black. 
Yeah, like, especially they're, they're, these are quite in trouble, right? If, right, he, if right. he gets caught. So that's why Balaka doesn't have time to uh, play liberty risk around here. Mm -hmm. So that's why Balaka need to defend the cutting so point. So how about how about like doing this exchange first, and then fixing? Like, fixing where? Uh, just the same as the. Uh, you were saying here. Then why do we go into the corner? Oh. So why do we got more liberty in the corner? Right. Okay. Yeah. So this is maybe a little mm -hmm. too early. I see. I see. So why right. uh, Balaka just. Uh, Mm -hmm. So in the game, he didn't do that, and uh, yeah. and then I think let's go back a little bit. Uh, so like this, uh, like this. Yes. Yeah, and then yeah, and then. Then why the temporary can honey? Honey, because honey still leaves the cutting point. Yeah. So but like protect the cutting point tightly because that's threat to capture white. So white's probably going to black target. play here. White wins the liberty race, but mm -hmm. black doesn't have strong follow up move. Yeah. And that's why this is a strong move. So actually, if white plays this Atari, then white can fix this in Sente, right? But I can do this. Ah, uh, yeah. So, so white, if white takes, right? If white takes, then black, just, I guess. Oh, yeah, but I can yeah. win the Liberty race. Oh, uh, OK. So white cannot do that, actually. Yeah, right. Uh, but I think it's like black has to Atari first. Uh, OK. Yeah. But so, if black Atari here first, black will, will, will answer here. That's not good for white. Oh. So black, white cannot cut. If white mm -hmm. cut, and if white catch that, then black link up with Sente. Mm -hmm. So then yeah. inside will be problem. Yeah, yeah. And actually, this is I mean even worse. Like black uh, even Yeah, yeah, that's even worse because even white win the level two is black cuts here. Mm -hmm. So that's why the yeah, white cannot yeah. do any move here. All right. So white need to connect, catch that stone, and the black going to. Uh, it's a big ending game with such a yeah, yeah. now. So so it feels okay. Uh, one second. So white black like cuts. Black yeah, cuts. cuts. So white this this okay, white Atari. Yeah. Three four C move. So it looks like actually black stole a lot of points there. Yes, it that's why early well. time I said that even though this is be captured, but I mm -hmm. still don't know who's better. Okay. Because there's lots of open space, so we don't know what's going on. So eventually this becomes black's territory, right? Mm -hmm. okay, right. So, so in that case let's let's earlier let's time catch I up. say mm -hmm. uh, this game even uh, black is uh, 10 points ahead, I swear was it still close because this move is 20 points. Yeah, which is why I think... Why they got that, so yeah. this is still a close game. So yeah, black jumps. And then why they lock the door, lock. because afterwards, why they can go in. So yeah, he got that. Black connects. Mm -hmm. This is an important moment because it's double center. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah, black can also do that. Right? Yes, double center first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, black I need to answer. And then connect here. Wow, so really, it, it felt like black, white really gained a lot there as well. Black, you know, took a big point, but white also, yes. you know, had his own profit there. Yes. So, all right. We're okay, hold on. This is an important moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, overall, take a quick look. I think uh, this is a close game, really close game, but it's pretty difficult for black mm -hmm. because that's bigger call me. So black must work harder. So let's say, uh, I guess, why well, I guess this is like a 50 points. Yeah. This is like a 30 points. Okay, this is almost a 10 points. Right, like 90. 90, okay. This is, uh, plus this is almost a 50. So it depends <laughs> how many points can white make here. You did that in one second. No, it's a quick, it's a quick, it's just quick. It's, it's, a, sure, it's sure. a three plus minus, something uh -huh. like okay, that, okay? okay. Because, no, because in time pressure, nobody yeah. can count, you must count quickly. Yeah, yeah. You know, so, it's a the, so here's the key point. How many points can white make here? If the white can make 40 points here, white is ahead. Mm. Right? So black must prevent that. Yeah, so if you take a close look, you can see if this is 14, 16, mm -hmm. 23, this is almost 40. So it seems like white is better. Yeah, and he, he has, I mean, he has some like stuff there, right? He has like the monkey jump. Yeah, monkey stuff. jump, but yes, <laughs> monkey jump also here, yeah. you can see. Honey, like yeah. the door closed. If we like answer here, we lose here. This is just they damage each other. Right. Why do we not got, lose any point here? Black may lose point. Mm. So here, uh, the next move, I think, market there very well. Yeah, this is very sharp. That's the move to use a dead stop. Mm. If black play normally here, I think this, is, this game is hopeless for black. It's like too soft, right? Yeah, too, too easy. Because why does they have liberty issue? So that's mm -hmm. why. But I play very, very tightly. That's yeah. a great move. 
I think he realizes that he needs to reduce yeah, his Yeah, he must work harder. Otherwise, uh, uh -huh. we'll, we'll lose the game. So white uh, protect this open area, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So Hane and then black extends. Black uh, yeah. go that way because the leave is a weakness. Uh, oh, why is the fix? Uh, this move is a diff very difficult to say. Is that good or bad? I mean, I guess he's fixed. There's some agi here, right? Is yeah, it's a difficult around? decision. Yeah, there's agi. Uh, this is the easy way to link up. Also, avoid some honey or mm. clamp. But if white really can do this, it could be much better because of how mm. this two. Okay, white take this. Yeah, okay. But this so, two don't have problem. So, black honeys. So actually, yeah, it kind of it worked, right? Because it actually reduced a lot of points here. This is also important decision. Important decision. If, I, if I'm white, I, I will play here. Or at least, to, of course, we, we need to inspect if the move works, right? So if white play tightly, increase two points, yeah. decrease two points, the game is over. So when white play here, it looks natural, but later black play very well. Black can push, push, you see? So the only problem is after white double honey here. Let's yeah. take a look. You don't need to take see that. Um, the only problem is black may do this. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. But they, but this is not a serious problem. White could just be patient like this. Uh, seems like a no bigger problem for white because white has two ways to link up. Mm -hmm. So white has to choose this. So white choose that. Even though there's two points lost, but white will increase a lot of points there. Mm -hmm. In the game, why to just okay. pull back? And then oh, but like they're good. Pushes. Yeah. Like the door. The next move is very tight. You see? Yeah, black is trying to squeeze every single point oh, out of that. Oh, this is pretty painful for white. So the point be reduced. Yeah. So oh, he's even well. He's squeezing yeah, this one. Yeah. Oh, this is a good timing. Otherwise, you cut. You know? Yeah. Oh, that's the same thing. If you do this, maybe later white do that. Actually, it's the mm -hmm. same. I don't think a white can do this. Okay. But however, black play here first. That's very sharp. Yeah. So this even uh, blocks. This is uh, how many points? This is six point seven point reduce reverse center. Wow, it's a huge. Wow. Oh, actually, sorry, we, okay. we missed a stone here earlier, didn't we? Oh, actually, when white play here, black play there. No, there's miss uh, some variation. So uh, I think I think it was just when. Let's go back a little bit before we move forward. Oh, yeah, I, don't, no, 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 I know, I know, I know. Black pull back. Before something, ah, before white, this white, pull back, white and then white honey. Well, and then, then, then black did, black did the push. Then black pushes. Yeah, yes. OK, OK. Sorry about that. Um, so, so yeah, so white did honey stuff. Seven mm -hmm. point reverse. Wow, that's a huge. And then, OK, white's going to play this Atari. So we'll just you know, catch up further. OK. Uh, so black connects. Yeah, black connects. Here. White connects. Uh, not white yet. Cannot. Oh, so, OK, this is Sente, though, right? It is Sente, because we escape. Yeah. So black bamboo connection. Mm -hmm. That's sente, as we already mentioned. OK, black connects. Mm -hmm. There's sente here. So yeah, just like early time I say, because black will lose some point. Yeah. Of course, we, we, I think when we count, we just say this is, you know, this is white stuff. Yes, yes, this is white stuff. It's very likely that white will play this in sente. <coughs> and that's sente too. That's sente. So black must. Um, yeah, black, black must answer. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately here, white cannot connect, but there's a cutting point. Oh, OK. So you can aim defended. for it. Yes. Yeah. Black cuts the single stone. The it is a close game. Oh, wow. White's playing the but That's a reverse ante. Uh, reverse okay. point, three point reverse ante. Yeah. Otherwise, black honey was ante. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that three point reverse ante is the biggest thing in this moment. I think he didn't have time to play this, right? Because every, everything, everything white did. No, 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 yeah, no, no bigger move left. It was, it was all, yeah. And then when white played here, black, black had to answer, right? It was way Hello, long. scam, but I guess uh, black have a uh, call me problem. OK, let's, let's catch up. Um, so yeah, all the small stuff now. Uh, peep. And connect. connect. Yeah, the three points. So Atari, push. Yeah, why don't just one. keep a connection because of how about this connection mm -hmm. here? That's true, that's true. And then, uh, yeah, just taking the small sentence now. So actually, you know, the end game yeah. is actually where most of the areas on the board are settled, and then we just compete for like the smaller things. Yes, right? actually, so. the game is already decided. Yeah, so, okay, that's sente. The squeeze is sente. Yeah, wedge is sente, wedge, they increase two points. Yeah. 
Connect. The black try to use the force move. And then. Atari, two points. Yeah. Yeah, play cold. Oh, this is maybe cold battle decide again. Oh. <laughs> oh, it could be. We we would love that actually. <laughs> so yeah, look, looks like yeah, looks like Black's taking that. So they are fighting this code. Yeah, this code is code. important. Okay, so right, Atari, Black threats. connects. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, this code is big. White takes back. Um, I do believe that they're both in under Bayomi. Okay, uh, White take. It. And I take it back. You know, actually, I had a similar position like this at a, at a Die Hard yesterday. Mm. And it was like, both of us were in the last Bayomi period. And then it was just fighting the Ko. And, I, I, you know, I was both scared, uh -huh. but also excited at the same time. Uh, yes. <laughs> it's like a really great feeling. It depends mm. if you can stay calm. You just, you know, you're in the moment. You're okay. enjoying it. So why to play this? So, yeah. Black answers. Mm -hmm. Why take it back? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, final cold battle. I think we are actually caught up with the game, right? It's a move 100, 210 right now. Um, so, so actually, yeah, somehow we managed to uh, catch up at light speed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but of course, like you know, these are you know, cold, cold threats, so there's um, not so much technically that's involved. You know, you just gotta find cold threats. Um, yeah, this is more than 40, 42. Seems like why they're still better. I guess. But only slightly, right? Yeah, yes, I, I mean, yes. that's fine. point. Margins yeah, if Black loses the game because Black did too passively here. Mm -hmm. So, do we have a. We don't have a time update yet. We can, we can check really quickly. Uh, yeah, as of. Wait, is it? No, it's not over. It's not over yet. They, they're, they're still playing, I believe. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is uh, the actual game. So. Black is looking for a code threat. I guess it, I guess he's also counting at this moment, right? Like yeah. players must code. Uh, call me is a serious problem. Yeah. Oh wow. They both have two huge territory, mm -hmm. but uh, there's a bigger call me. Yeah. It was actually the AJ call me seven and a half, right? And mm. uh, basically, well, of course, uh, if Black takes the last Dame point, actually in AJ rules, you do fill in all the Dames, mm -hmm. then White will have to give it back. So that would become six and a half Komi, if that, mm -hmm. that is the case. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it, it, you, you know, when you play as Black, you always have to think about, you know, where do I make up the extra, you know, six and a half, seven and a half points? Because we, we, do, do, we do this for the record because uh, black goes first, and of course, if you don't have any Komis, then you know there's a higher chance for Black to get more points because obviously Black goes first and mm -hmm. has Sente from the beginning. So, uh, but of course, I think some some other people also like you know having the Komi because if, if you have a, like a balanced game, right? If you don't fall too much behind, like normally speaking, if Black doesn't you know do anything uh, you know good and then get, get, get more points, then yeah, it's, it's uh, difficult for Black. It's it's difficult. Difficult. So it's all, it's, all, it's all about the nigiri these days. <laughs> Maybe we should, we should do a book called uh, Get Strong and Nigiri. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, good practice. OK, anyway, yeah, we're, we're caught up. Um, um, we can, of course, just wait for the game to finish now. But um, anything we missed here that did I, did I rush you too much? Do you want to? Uh, uh, I think Black uh, show you know control the game after this push kind of separate by two groups. Uh -huh. But uh, somehow Black played a little slow from here. It's been too many moves from this area. Black has to growing, make big as possible. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, yeah, when White in reduction deeply like this, Black has to attack. Yeah. But somehow Black just hold this territory, but give up that. It's a big lose. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's like somehow you even died, right? So not only did White reduce points. Right, it's not really, it's a whole, yeah. this is dead. Uh -huh. um, then Black worked very hard, but it seems that White is still, you know, half enough. Because this is also a big position, right? Also, the last time I say, who got this? Maybe decide uh -huh. the game, right? Right. In that moment, I say, if, even if Black are 10 points ahead, mm -hmm. somehow White got that. The white is still good, so eventually white got this. That's a huge. Of course, he he did. I think he, he as probably as the best. No as choice. He, as but he but could. I have to destroy uh -huh. that open area first. Yeah, yeah. But I did a good job in the second half. Mm -hmm. But I just uh, too passively in this area. Yeah. Um, so maybe. Well, I I think we're still waiting for a move from black right now. Uh, maybe while we do that, we we can do a more precise count because now we have a little bit more time. 
So um, it would be great if actually you can show us you know, the, the way okay. you count, and we can maybe learn off of that. OK, so let's count this. Sure, sure. It's easy, like 20, a quick 20, right? Oh, wow. 20, 26. That, that is a very high speed right. count. <laughs> 31, 34, 38, 40, 47, 50, mm -hmm. 53. So 53 in this area. Yes. Okay. This is also a quick count. Mm -hmm. It's like this, right? Uh -huh. Okay, here like this 20, 23. Yeah. Okay, 23, 26. Yeah. Okay, uh, 26, 40, uh, 30, 31, 32. 33. Okay. 33. So 53 there. Mm -hmm. 32, 33 here? 33. 33 here, okay. So 86, right? And then we are going to count in kind of small area. 12. Uh, well, so 86 was 12. 98. Nine. 90, and then let's, let's look at the, well, do the captures matter in AJ? They do, right? So let's look at the captures. Black has, okay, the captures are even, so it's not a problem. So, mm -hmm. so black is 98 points. And then well, let's take a look white. Yeah. Six, ten, twenty, twenty-two. Okay. Twenty-two, thirty-two, thirty-three. Hmm. It's more hmm. difficult to count because it's not quick like this. Okay. The dead stone is uh, five, ten, eleven dead stones. T twenty-two, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eleven. So 30, okay, 30, 30, 33 points. Thirty-three. Okay. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. Wow, it's pretty close. Every time I count, it's a little too big, too much. Mm -hmm. Wow, that game is really close. Maybe this code decide the game. Yeah, I I think. This is actually there's still there's still pondering about this move, right? Yeah. I think I think Black is ah is he is he is he plotting something? Black, right? Yeah, yeah. Because it's a code looking for code threat. Yeah, yeah. I mean I mean he has a few that he can oh actually Yeah, I mean I like he has something here, right? He can make a few code threads from there. But of course White still has some code threads too. Um so, uh, so what was the final count uh, for, for white, this area? White, this whole, oh, it's uh, capture stones, capture stones. This is less than 50. OK. So, OK. Yeah, 47, 48. 48? I think definitely you're one of the, uh, this is one of the fastest counts we've seen on stream, for sure. This is 42. Okay, 48, 42, this is 90. Oh. Yeah, very close. So, yeah, 98 to 90. Oh, it's like a half pointer, right? Yeah, that, because oh. I didn't count this. Wow. I didn't count this. It's a half pointer. Yeah, it could be a close. half pointer. Decided. Oh, my God. The code bottom. <laughs> well, you, usually I, I know that in some capture because games. Because Black, we, because Black yeah. got this, this seven point switch. That's a huge, so that's why it's a very, very close game. Usually when I count before, so this is why it's move, there's uh -huh. no six point, whatever one, it's a huge difference. So but right. like that, it's right. really close game. Yeah, like, I, I think, so, I mean, what you, you said that white played a little, maybe like a little bit conservatively. Yeah, white's a very, no, no, I mean, I mean this should be honey. Uh-huh. The only time it's white, if white honey here, it could be easy game for white. So actually, like that. Black did, right? did very well. You can see Black played tightly, uh -huh. increased points. Black played very well here. Mm -hmm. Push it, push it, force white to answer. That's yeah. very painful. Yeah, because like every stone inside the territory is like one last point. Yeah. So white had a hand here, mm -hmm. even though I lose two points here, right. but it got more point here. Um, just while we, while we wait on this, we have other results from, from the, uh, of course, the other boards uh, on, uh, well, in round five, because this is like actually the third last mm -hmm. round. Uh, actually, Aaron just, Aaron resigned to uh, Zhong Fan, Jen, uh, who is, I think, I, I think he's actually AGA rated eight and a half. So he's quite strong. So actually, Zhong Fan, uh, we haven't covered his games yet, but, but he's actually, you know, 4 1 this tournament. Uh, at, at the same time, of course, uh, Hong Kui Zheng, uh, so Simon Don, and I think he, uh, he won a lot of tournaments in Southern California as well. 
I think he won the, uh, the Jane Cup in Irvine. So he also won this game. Uh, Alan Huang, uh, the seven Don. Uh, no, Alan Huang, the seven Don, uh, he also won his game on board five, uh, on board six, sorry. So that's that. Uh, oh, it seems like, okay. So they're counting, right? So okay, so the, so the SGF wasn't wasn't updating because it was okay. All right, I see, I see. Okay, so so there are some like small moves that we missed, but actually, oh, black one. Black is better, right? Yeah. yeah. Because black so, so played this, pretty good this here. Mattered. Yeah, because black right. played good here. Right. If a white harness, white incorrect point, that, that that that's the problem. So after I saw black play here, play there, I said, yeah, it's painful for white. Mm -hmm. White can only answer here. Wow. I mean, I mean, normally, Ten points no, the ball. Normally, normally, like an amateur game, and we do this, yeah, it doesn't matter so points. much, right? But that's with right. top players, it's huge. So that's why the market play here wow. work very hard. So the game is so very close. Yeah, that was like amazing combat. Yeah, Massimo reduced wise, Massimo only force uh -huh. force wide answers, but also wide have bad RG. So if wide double harness, the only bad RG is this. So wide can respond here. Yeah, this is, I mean, it's just amazing how what strong players oh, can yeah, do. Yeah, also the right move here or there is a huge difference. Mm -hmm. Why the play here, then there's a bad RG here. So the honey should be correct. Yeah. So that maybe, I mean, that could be like a losing move, right? Yeah, yes, like yes. Wow. Yeah, every time I count this, this group a little too much, then later I count, uh-oh, it's yeah. not that much. This one got 40, that's uh -huh. good, but uh, that group doesn't have uh, 50. I'll tell you what, it definitely was a very exciting game. Mm. Uh, I think we went back and forth a lot. I think, mm. of, course, of course, the story is always different every time we, we cast one of these games. Uh, it could be always one-sided, for example. Like yesterday, uh, yesterday no, I'm sorry, two days ago, mm -hmm. uh, New Echo, you know, on, on board one in round yes. four, she so just played pretty solidly, so it's, you know, pretty one-sided all the, all the way. But actually, this one was quite dramatic, right? Yes. I mean, yes. At first, I think, you know, they're both taking their stuff, and then mm. and White got in here, and then White was good, and then we're like, Black's in trouble, but actually there are still a lot of um, yeah. undecided things. And There's you're some right. problem in the early opening. Mm -hmm. mm. But after this, then Black played too defensively. 2.5. A 2.5, okay. Yeah, so close. It, yeah, it's 2.5. We do have the final results from the, from the game recorder, so we can confirm this. So yeah, it looks like Mark, Mark is 4-1. Now, we don't know the results of the game between New Echo and Yongfei Ge, the Seven Don from Canada. Uh, if Echo is to win, of course, she will be 5 0. And I think, and I think it's likely that she will play Mark in the, in the next round or in the final round. Uh, what a match that would be, by the way. Uh, of course, Mark is, I think, the strongest player still, you know, even, even though he lost one game uh, earlier. Uh, he, he's still, you know, the highest rated AGA player, mm -hmm. and, and he's, he's very good. Of course, uh, yes. Aiko has been, I, I think so far she's been quite dominating uh, in, in her first four games. Actually, didn't need to fight a lot. So, mm -hmm. you know, between these two, I think it'll be a, a great match, right? Yes, yes, we're looking for yeah. to see it. So hopefully, yeah, that'll be like the championship round or something. Of course, uh, we will find out what, later what the pairings are. Our wonderful tournament director, Josh Lee, actually does all these pairings. He's the man in charge who... You know, the, the term is all the, calls all the shots, the term is all the big matches. So, uh, yeah, great win for Mark. Uh, I, I think, uh, yeah, they're just catching up the, the SGF now. If you want to take a look, you can go to the OGS uh, server, online go server. You can check out all, actually, we have a, a, a repository of all the games uh, on there. So just go to online.go.com slash 2019 USGC. You can actually follow all the previous games we've had there. I think in the morning, it's mostly just board one, but we have some other boards and some other rounds as well. Uh, and I think uh, definitely you will learn a lot from, you know, just watching these strong players play. Uh, yeah, so uh, what a great morning we've had so far. Uh, thank you once again, Mr. Thank Yang, you. for a wonderful you, commentary. Uh, that's all we have for you today. Uh, we are actually going to take a break. Uh, there is no game uh, broadcast tonight, but of course you can go to the Pandanet server to check out the North American Pergo Championship. That's going to be the top four pairs uh, competing for a place to go to Japan. Uh, and so, so that would be quite intense there. We're, we're not casting it this, this year, but uh, you can, of course, uh, check them out. Uh, it's it's going to be very exciting, as Todd can already attest. Uh, you know, 45 minutes, sudden death. So it's, it's going to be pretty crazy when we get down the last minute. So uh, we are going to have the US Masters round six tomorrow at 9 o'clock in the morning, Central Time. 
And of course, tomorrow night, 7 p.m., will be our final championship round, round seven. So uh, more commentary uh, tomorrow following up. And uh, so, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please give us a follow if you enjoyed all the content, and see you tomorrow.